I'm Pikmin 2. I'm 14. I'm impossible. All right, everybody, welcome back to more Pikmin 2 No Deaths. We've played through the main story and beat the whole game and got 100% without letting any Pikmin die. We had to reset a, a bunch of times, but we came out all right in the end. However, we're still not quite done with the stream series. There is still the matter of challenge mode. You'll remember we unlocked that by getting the key at the end of the Citadel of Spiders. So what the heck is challenge mode? Well, I'm glad you asked, even though you didn't. So challenge mode is a special little mode where, as you can see here, <laughs> we have 30 new levels, basically, to go through. So these are 30 new caves, and the challenge is to get to the end of the cave without letting any Pikmin die. Now, these are a little bit different from the caves we faced in story mode. For one, we go in with a set amount of Pikmin, as well as a set amount of sprays, so no prepping in advance for that. Every, All of the caves generally are going to be shorter, than the ones we found in game. In game, we got floor, we got some caves that were 15 floors. Here, I don't think we're going to see anything more than five, and most of them are going to be two or three. So they're going to be a lot shorter, <laughs> bite-sized. And yeah, as for some other differences in challenge mode, all of the caves are on a time limit, kind of similar to uh, Submerged Castle, except in Submerged Castle, while if you ran out of time, it just made things harder. If you run out of time here, you lose. So... We got to get to the end of the cave within the time limit. Now, another change that is is made to this is that on each floor of the cave, you'll have to find the key on the cave and have your Pikmin carry it back to the ship. Doing so will unlock the next part of the cave. And there are other treasures there too, but those are optional. All the treasures and like beast corpses will do is increase your score. And if you want the perfect score, all you need to do is get to the end of the cave without letting any Pikmin die. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. I will be ignoring basically every treasure here, except for the keys. <laughs> hey, Sibzazaras, welcome. Is it possible to beat all 30 sub-levels in challenge mode all in one stream? These are not 30 sub-levels. These are 30 caves that each could have anywhere from 1 to 5 sub-levels. So my honest answer is, and it's... Mm, I mean, we're probably not going to finish challenge mode in one stream. We'll finish it in two, though. I mean, I guess it's possible we could finish challenge mode in one stream if I stream for a long time. I'm not going to say one way or another, but I'm going to basically do it a lot as much as I can. I don't remember a lot of challenge mode. I do remember there are four caves that I am not looking forward to, but yeah, we can go over the rules, I guess. Yeah, challenge rules. But acquire the key to access the next level, escape before time runs out, embark on a frilling expedition, white flowers indicate cleared areas, and a pink show that all Pikmin escaped. So we want a pink flower in all of these, so... Let's just get started, shall we? Our first challenge is the Explorer's Cave. We got 50 red Pikmin, two bitter sprays, two spicy sprays, and there are two floors. And you can also do these one player or two player. I'm only one person, and I'm not good enough at the game to be able to use one controller with each hand, so we're doing one player. If you got two players, it will make... If you got two competent players, it will make it a little bit easier. I think you might get more time if you're just one player, because that way you can't split up. Um, I'll, we'll see, Simpsons are us. Custom music, no. Weird voices, probably. Welcome to challenge mode. Find the key on each level and take it to the research pod. Try to reach the geyser on the final level within the time limit. Points are calculated based on the treasures you collect and the time you have remaining. Earn as many points as you can to achieve fame, fortune, and the glory. And also the ladies. Ready? Go! So everybody's a leaf Pikmin. There are a bunch of coins on the ground, but I only care about the key. I'm not going to get the best possible score, but I will get the, per the pink flower. <laughs> you have found a remarkable object. My analysis concludes it is a key to the next floor. It looks oddly familiar. Have I observed it before? Perhaps I am mistaken. <laughs> it seems this treasure detects geometric, geomagnetic fields. It must have some geological effect. Oh, is that how it works? Oh, what's this? Bots are back. Oh, no, oh, no they're not. You're banned. I give no reason. 
These guys really need to re figure out that I don't want to be famous. And hey, we got Louie back! We haven't played as a Louie for a while. I guess while they carry that there, I... Sure, carry the coin. And as you can see, that'll create the next hole. A hole that continues deeper underground has opened. Journey deeper for more treasures. Okay. No, I don't want to go to www.famous.net. That sounds terrible. Yeah, as you can see, we actually don't have a lot of time. 86 seconds. Every time you go to a new floor, though, you will get more time. So that's nice. Yeah. I don't, I don't really care about getting the treasures. Also, you don't get to save between sublevels. We gotta do all the sublevels in one go. So resets will be a little more costly than they were in story mode. Isn't that fun? Alright, here's the final floor. Alright, we got Big Burfo over here. Let's use the spicy spray and a bitter spray. We got the sprays, we may as well use them. Oh look, Big Burfa had the key! How did I know? Is there gonna be another stream where we all throw links at each other? No. Look, the ground has cracked indication indicating an inactive geyser. Have your Pikmin dig here. Yeah, so that's different. When the geyser appears, you actually need to have your Pikmin beat it up in order for it to take you home country roads. Challenge mode is also gonna be interesting because, um, in case you didn't know, in story mode, I heavily relied on my purple Pikmin. You don't get purple Pikmin on every single uh, one, <laughs> on every single challenge mode course, so... <laughs> I'll actually have to use other Pikmin, and different strategies, potentially. There we go! Explorer's Cave is down. A lot of these are going to be really quick. We got 3,000, we got Pikmin stock, we got time bonus at the end. So that's my score. You'll see that perfect ribbon if you get to the end without letting any Pikmin die. That's what we're going for. It's technically not the best possible score, but it is perfect still. As you can see, now that is that turns from a leaf, which means we haven't completed it yet, to a pink flower, which means we've done it deathless. We also unlock a new level, and those little dots are we haven't unlocked them yet. <laughs> Alright, next is novice training. We got 30 white Pikmins, 3 spicy sprays, 2 floors. No bitter sprays, though. This is going to be interesting. They're also all flower Pikmin, which will be nice, so we're going to have some really fast workers. Wait, no, they're not flower Pikmin. They're leaf Pikmin. Boo. I mean, they're still going to be really fast, because, you know, they're white Pikmin. Ready? Go! Oh boy. We got purple flowers, everybody. We're definitely taking advantage of that. Leave the doodle bug alone. Stop attacking the doodle bug and get rid of the poison uh, gate. There we go. Now be a gem and take that key back. <laughs> oh boy, we got the Arthur quotes in here. Wow! Even though those are really far away, my big one is still like, yes! Okay, we gotta get Nectar. Nice job. Oh, hey, treasures. Oh, hey, but those aren't nectar. There. Bingo. No, you don't get to drink all that yourself. Don't be selfish. <laughs> ah, there we go. Pikmin who brought the, the key back don't get a taste, which is a bit of a shame, I suppose. Oh, no! Doofus McBoofus stayed behind, so he's not a flower Pikmin. That's fine. We'll just go to the next floor. Yeah, I got that reference. They're Pikmin. They're going to be stupid. Oh, 
Alright, final floor. Gotta watch out for the poison gate still. Oh, what's this? Yeah, yeah, in your face. Take that. Eat it. Are you gonna drop the key for me? Oh, that is a good boy. Bring the key back, gentlemen. I have a feeling that that's gonna be where, uh... The geyser turns up. Attack the poison vent, not the bug. Alright, folks? Oh, yeah, I, I know me some Arthur. Oh, that's not where it showed up. Okay. Beautiful. Nicely done. Now we can beat up the geyser and go home. That's a lot of time left over. And by the beam, second level's up. <laughs> this stream was brought to you by the letter P. Yep. Yes, it was. Woohoo! It's a perfect day. P is imperfect. Alright, so we're, we're just plowing through these. Next, we're on the Lost Toy Box. A hundred yellow Pikmin, two of each kind of spray, and two floors. Two floors, I think, is going to be a common occurrence here. I, I can't tell you. If, if people want to, then they can. Otherwise, it may just be you and me. Oh, hey, now we start with a hundred yellow Pikmin. Oh, it looks like Glutton's Kitchen. I love Glutton's Kitchen. Oh, fun. Okay. Uh... Come on! Hit his back! I'll just smear him. It's easier that way. Yellow Pikmin are hard to time it to be like, oh hey, hit hit him directly on the back. Because they go up so high. See, this is not if if challenge mode in or if in order to get the pink flower and thus the secret uh secret bonus at the end, you had to get all the treasures as well, it would make challenge mode so much more difficult. But because you literally just have to get to the end, it's actually not too bad. And no, I'm not adding an extra level challenge for trying to get all of the treasure. That would be really, really dumb when you get to the later levels where time is actually an issue. Alright. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I'm like, uh-oh, we only have 70 seconds for this. Nope, we got 200. Alright. Something tells me Big Burf is going to have the key again. It's usually the biggest, nastiest enemy on a floor that holds the key. <laughs> have you seen my chance, Cube? Pikmin 2 is close to being over. I'm not going to completely discount the possibility that this will be the last stream, but I'm also not being like, we have to finish with this stream, because then I'm going to get angry and be disappointed when I inevitably start failing challenge mode. This is still the easy part. Oh no! No! The burp potion didn't reach Big Burfa. I thought it would. I thought it would hit both of them. Well, there we go. It's pro. It's realistically gonna take two more streams. I might beat most of the levels of this stream, but there are some really tough caves here. Ex again, especially because of how unbelievably punishing it is to die on the last floor. That is why, gentlemen, we take advantage of our sprays. Oh, it's right there. How nice.
Beautiful. All right. Let's try this floor again. This time we make sure we hit Big Burfa with the bitter spray. It also would have been fun if I was able to do Pikmin 2 versus mode, because that's actually a great multiplayer. But alas, it's just me. Even if I could get Marty here, Marty does not play Pikmin, so it would not really be fun. It's like, let's, let's put the guy who did this crazy hard Pikmin challenge against somebody who's never played Pikmin before. It's like, yeah, gee, I wonder who's gonna win. I'm not gonna say she doesn't like Pikmin, but she definitely doesn't play Pikmin. There you are. There we go. Knew Big Burfa was gonna have the key. Well, I guess on the way. How did that Pikmin get on the rail cart track? Guess we might as well bump up our score while we're at it. Get over here. Let's bring the chance totem back. Louie. Louie. Yeah, look at all that treasure. Totally unnecessary. But it's still fun. Alright. Now, where is the exit? Oh, it's right over here. Wonderful. It's amazing what 100 Pikmin can do. Let's exit! Yep, so the first few caves are pretty easy. Not too bad. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow, that's a much better score than the last few we've gotten. Perfect! Again, having two players be able to split the Pikmin up and do things simultaneously really does help, but I think you also have less time if you do that. Next is the Creator's Garden. 50 blue Pikmin, one bitter spray, two spicy sprays. Only one floor, though, so this is going to be a shorty. Ho-ho! Oh, sure enough, it is a nice little garden. Oh, yay, everyone's a flower. They're my pretty flowers. Ready? <laughs> Monkey ball, ready? I see, that's a hermit cromad on the other side of that gate. Wait, what? He apparently ate one of my Pikmin through the gate. What a hacker. There's a video on YouTube of someone speedrunning. Okay, well, guess what? I don't speedrun the game, so I can't do it that fast. But, hey, that does make me somewhat optimistic that maybe I could get it done this stream. Not sure. All right. Got to find the key, wherever it is. I bet you it's in Hermit Cromad, man. Come on. There we go. Wow, that wasn't... Okay. You also don't have a treasure detector in the challenge mode. So you just kind of actually got to explore on your own to try to find the treasure. Nope. Alright, I bet you I bet you that's where the geyser will appear, behind that gate. Oh! Yeah, that's fair. Sure. Let's put an enemy right behind the gate so that you can't knock down the gate. I can't- I see no reason why that shouldn't be allowed. Oh no, it's my nemesis.
It would be fitting if my nemesis had the key. No. 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 Good. <sighs> he had the fishing bobber. Okay. Bet you either this guy or the blowhog is gonna have the uh, the key. Well, wasn't him. Oh, look! What a surprise. There's the key. Alright. Now we knock down the gate. <laughs> hey, Nintendo Addict! Welcome! Yeah, RNG can suck sometimes, but... <laughs> oh, really? I'm sorry, why is Automod being like, you use the word suck? That's not allowed, but they're letting these bots come in and spam links to fraudulent pages. Get your priorities straight, Twitch. Come on, man! Alright, I bet you the geyser's gonna spawn behind here, because there's a gate that's literally blocking the way to nothing. <laughs> yeah, he was... Nintendo Addict was actually doing productive things with his life, rather than uh, <laughs> watching me play games, so I, I welcome that. Hey, to be fair, I, I was productive this morning, and now I'm not. <laughs> All right, let's exit. That's weird. Yeah, Twitch Auto Mod is just dumb sometimes. Perfect. I mean, some Pikmin caught on fire, but they didn't die, so it was it could not have been done better. <laughs> ah, Star Fox 64, great game. All right. We're Next, it's the green hole. We got ten of each of the primary colors, one of each spray, two floors. So this is our first cave where we actually have multiple types of Pikmin, at least to start with. Cool, cool. Ooh, I see the key already. Wow. What's the catch? The key's right there. What's the catch? Is there going to be a snake grid in the way? Or probably some bugs in the way. Or it's just free. Cool. Oh, hey, Bulbman! That's the catch! Actually, oh, no! Okay. Oh, guys, guys, guys. If I can get this to work. I'm gonna try to lure both of them in one area and bitter spray both of them. Yes, come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. Old man! Oh, there we go. Now we got 50 guys. <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay, that's this is cool. We never really got to use Boldman that much in the main story mode, because I always had 100 Pikmin basically going into the caves. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Alright, let's see if we can flower them all up. Ah, that's beautiful. I love seeing that. Alright, where's the cave? Oh, hey, the cave's house right here! Oh, this is fantastic. I don't have a bitter spray. So this could go This could go awry. <laughs> now, there, there are some... There are some challenge mode caves where you get purple Pikmin. But not all of them. Not most of them. So we do have to rely on actual strategy. What part of this hole is green? We're not even outside in the grass. This is a bathtub. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's real bad. I should have saved the bitter spray. Oh, that's real bad. I don't think we're allowed to use lose Boldman, either. And I guarantee you, Big Fiery Guy's gonna have the key. 
I like guarantee Big Fiery Guy is gonna have the key. Yeah, he has to. Great! Alright, well. Gonna take Red Pikmin and we're gonna take Boldman. And we're gonna Spicy Spray and we're gonna hope for the best. Louie, take the others and make sure that he doesn't try to snack on them. Thankfully, he's not gonna wake up until we start attacking him. All right. Let's hope this works. Come on, come on, finish him off, finish him off, finish him off. No, you were just too late! If they were, like, a tenth of a second faster, then he would not have swallowed them. Oh, wait, I, sh I didn't need to reset the entire game. I could have just said give up. Yes, I'm trying to get it deathless, because you actually... If you do it deathless, you actually get a special reward. Which mo floor in challenge mode am I most afraid of? Do you mean which floor or which cave? Because I don't remember specific floors from specific caves. There are four caves that I'm worried about. The one that I'm worried about the most is probably the secret testing range. That one's gonna suck. Maybe I should have tried to get a better spray from this first floor. Alright. This floor has Boldman. Alright, so new plan. I'm gonna use the spicy spray on this floor to take out the Boldman. No, you don't get to sneak up from behind! Cool. Take their corpses back, I guess. No, not the stupid mites! Why did it have to be the spiders? Get back here, you goofus. Where's the last guy? I don't know where the last guy went. Is he, is he wetting himself in a corner somewhere? Oh, well. At least we got through that without using the bitter spray. That's good. Sometimes, you, like sometimes, some enemies you just need bitter spray for. I do not know how you get past the fiery bulb wax reliably without without a bitter spray. <laughs> okay, I have literally no idea where that last guy is, but I don't care. Whew. No, no, no. You can reset your GameCube and you don't have to re 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 yeah. complete all of challenge mode again. No, that would that would be really stupid if you did. Talk on it. Why does the you got more time sound effect have to be exactly the same as you lost Pikmin sound effect? Get over here. Oh yeah, no upgrades in challenge mode, so I don't get to run fast, I don't have the super whistle. None of that. None of that. Alright. There we go. Yeah, how the heck are you supposed to get through him reliably without using a bitter spray? It, it's like, it's impossible. I am definitely glad that we get to use Boldman again, though, because they're a really cool idea. Oh, I'm sure there is. Uh, here's the thing. You can do it without a Bitter Spray, but you can't do it reliably without a Bitter Spray. Like, you can throw the guys on his back and you might kill him, but he also just might eat you before that happens. Like, it's not a guarantee you're gonna beat him. It's like, a, uh, well, there's a 50% chance that you might do it no deaths, and a 50% chance that he'll eat one of your Pikmin's before he runs out of HP. Nice job, gentlemen. Let's get out of here. Alright, we're a sixth of the way through challenge mode. 
Granted, the later levels are going to be a lot harder and longer. Actually, not a lot longer, more just harder. Ah, oh, that's just beautiful. Another perfect. Yeah, see, because it will save every time you beat a level in challenge mode. At least if you get a new score. Top row done. Now we're on Hot House. <laughs> One of each of the primary colors of Pikmin. One bitter spray, two spicy sprays, two floors. Something tells me we're going to be getting more Pikmin here. <laughs> no, I can't. No, I can't. I can do some, some cool stuff, but not anything. I am not God. Alright, yep. Now we actually finally will get to show off what these multicolored flowers do. That was risky. That could have gone very badly. Wait, what? 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 He was in my hand! That guy literally just snatched the Pikmin out of my hand and ate it. I get. Yeah, if Christ strengthens me, I can do anything. True. But some, somehow I feel like Christ might have better things to do and more worthwhile ways to lend his strength than in a Pikmin 2 challenge mode match. I know if I were God, I would be like, e e yeah, I'm, maybe I'll save my power for the people who really need it. <laughs> yeah, so you can throw a Pikmin in there and it'll multiply the amount of Pikmin that come out, which is cool. So now, we got 27 Pikmin. Instead of three. Oh, I love the Frontier Cavern music. There we go, how nice. Oh, fun. Good. That could've, again, could've gone awry. <laughs> Here, take the spiral cookie back, I guess. Mmm, bananas. Mmm. <gasps> a bitter spray? For me? Oh, Louie, you're standing right on it. Why didn't you drink from it, too? Louie, more like pooey. I'm not sure how challenge mode fits in with the lore of Pikmin, if it's like, they come back to the planet later and try again. Or if it's like, not really canon to the story. I don't know. Alright, Hot House sub-level 2. I'll go over how you can randomize it when we actually play the Paper Mario randomizer. How about that? But let's just say you can randomize everything that I wanted and more, pretty much. Alright, final floor. Oh, look! Electric fences! Sure hope you have yellow Pikmin, because while it's technically possible to beat these without, uh, yellow Pikmin, it's gonna be a lot harder. Oh, hey, it's the key! How wonderful! Let's just bring that back. I don't want you to bring the corpse back, though. That's not necessary. Oh, how lovely. Uh, 
All right, I know I said I wasn't gonna bother with the can with any of the treasures, but I gotta bring the Dongo family back. I gotta bring the big Dongo family back. Dongo, 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 Dai Kazaku. An odd reference, if anyone is wondering. Alright, here we go. Let's bust out of here. We didn't even need to use all the flowers. And we got some extra treasure. Cuckoo? Perfect! Let's hope we don't run into one of those glitches again, like in Cavern of Chaos, where it's like, Oh, you lost Pikmin! It's like, no, I didn't! Yeah, you did! And we're not giving you the, the mark on the menu for it. Alright, Brawny Abyss, 50 per, uh, blue Pikmin, one of each spray, two floors. With a level called Brawny Abyss, I would expect a bunch of purple Pikmin, but I guess not. Oh, no. Maybe it's maybe it's called Brawny Abyss because we're gonna need a lot of paper towels. <laughs> Brawny paper towels, you're gonna need it in this metallic mad maze. Cool, we got a marble. Oh no! No! Don't throw them off a cliff. Ouch. Rats. Why are these armored cannon beetle larvae so difficult? They have way more HP than you'd expect, and if they're hiding there, it's just like, well, you're either going to get hit by a boulder, or they're going to get thrown off a cliff. You choose. That's pretty much how it happened. Oh, you're awful home. Oh, far away from home. Fuck on it. Blue Pikmin are so weak. Yeah, it's like, oh, look, you can take off a sliver of his HP before he throws you off. And I do mean literally just a sliver. Yeah, like, look at that! He can just fling them into the abyss, and there's nothing you can do about it. Wait. I'm sorry. I definitely think I lost a Pikmin there. Okay, well, I definitely lost Pikmin there. Like, that that enemy just seems unfair. Also, I bet you, like, 20 bucks that that enemy drops the key if you kill him. Yeah, Pikmin too far from home. Pretty much. Like, 20 bucks! says that guy is gonna drop the key. It's always the biggest, nastiest enemy on the floor that drops the key. And I don't even want to use the bitter spray, because I know there's gonna be a nastier enemy afterwards. On, just kill him already! Are you kidding me? Why are the blue Pikmin so weak? Like, good lord, my 85-year-old grandma could do more damage than this. That's nothing against my 85-year-old grandma, by the way. That's just something against blue Pikmin. Like, good lord, I'm... Blue Pikmin are just supposed to be average strength. It feels like they deal 25% of the damage that other Pikmin would. Or maybe this stupid armored cannon beetle just, larva just has like 8,000 HP. 
Come on, hit the cow. That's not hitting the cow. Your aim is off. Okay, wow. Really, dude? I'm standing right here. Hit the cow. Thank you. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of this. Oh, look! What a surprise! He dropped the key! 20 bucks, please. Budget the cave appears here. Oh look, I called it. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Brawny Abyss. No wonder it's called Brawny Abyss, because all the brawny larvae are gonna throw you into the abyss. Okay. No, this guy is actually gonna be easier. So there's another, there's another larva over here, but he's going to be easier because we can potentially hit, make him hit himself with his own boulders. Okay, come on. You weren't even attacking him. Actually, he's in such a confined area, I don't think that'll be possible. Okay. Sure, yeah, your boulders can go through midair. Of course they can. Once again, I bet you almost anything that that guy is going to have the freaking uh, key. So I don't, I, screw this. I'm punching him to death. We have, we've got enough time to do it. I'm not dealing with this bowl again. Omar and Louie are doing just about as much damage as the Blue Pikmin would, if not more. Spank ya, spank ya, spank ya! That's true, nobody bet against me, so I actually don't get 20 bucks. Oh look! What a surprise! It... They always put the key on the most obnoxious enemy in the room. Always. Bring that back to base. We can bring the marble as well. Looks like player two is gonna win this multiplayer round. Alright. Let's get out of Brawny Abyss. I don't use Brawny paper towels anyways. Not even as good as Bounty. Next to level is Bounty Abyss. Well, that level sucked. Perfect! <laughs> Who, me? No, not me. Not me. Next wrong. Oh, re oh no. I can't remember. There is one level that I'm really worried about, and I want to say it was Red Cats. I can't remember what it is. We got 40 Red Pikmin, three Bitter Sprays, and four Spicy Sprays, one floor. Yeah, it might be this one. You think I'm perfect? And eh, you don't know me very well, do you? They don't know. This might be the one. Yep, I think this is the one. Oh, th if this level is what I think it is, it's going to suck so much. Yep, this is the one! Red bulb orbs everywhere. We're just basically going to have a spicy spray on at all times. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't attract the little guys. I can't believe that other fact I didn't wake up. Oh, no. Ah! 
Aha! Saw that one coming. Get out of here. How come the spicy spray hasn't worn off yet? I definitely feel like it's been enough time so that the spicy spray should have worn off. I'm not complaining, but... One of you has the key. Key's over. His key's gotta be over here, then. There it is. Okay, actually, you know what? I forgot how many sprays that gives you. <laughs> that That's fair. Aw, oh, that's nice, Simpsons Aris. Look, the ground has cracked, indicating an inactive geyser. Have your pick... Um, I already got that. Oh, it's because I didn't skip it. All right. Wow, did we murder everything? We st How do we still have free spicy spray? Oh, that's right, because we had four spicy sprays, and for some reason, this one just lasted for an eternity. Okay. I thought that one was going to be a lot harder. I remember when I did that co-op with my older brother, that one took us ages to get through. But actually, that wasn't too bad. That was actually quite fun. <laughs> I still have no idea why the spicy spray lasted that long, though. They're only supposed to last about 30 seconds. Maybe I got really lucky. Maybe we, we got a really lucky dungeon spawn. Trample Garden. 40 reds, 20 whites, 20 purples! No sprays, though. One floor. You know, that's fine. If we, as long as we got purples, I'm pretty happy not having sprays. Purples are really good. Seemed like a power trip a little bit. You, you, you do have to be smart to get through that, no deaths. You can't just go all willy-nilly. Like, I actually was using the C-Stick pretty precisely. Let's Play Curse has not happened yet. That's true. Alright, only one floor. Um, oh, hi, Mamuta. Hi, Blowhog. Wow. Let's get the Blowhog out of here. I wonder if it's the Mamuta who will have the power for the key. No, he did not. Alright, we gotta pluck all our Pikmin then. <laughs> Excuse me, I did not say to take that back, but I mean, I, I, I guess. Oh yeah, I know, I know exactly what the Let's Play Curse is referring to. The weirdest and dumbest things start to happen as soon as you p click that record button. I truly believe that there's something about Mario Party where when you record it, it causes the dumbest stuff to start happening. Wow, there's a lot of treasure here. Oh my gosh! Look at all the crap people are throwing away. No, 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 you don't get to take those away. Okay, where's the key? Do you have it, Barnaby Jones? The key is in here somewhere, and I'm going to... Oh, it's way back here. There's just a bunch of random stuff lying around. Let's bring some of it back. Man, they put this after the last one? This was way easier. No pluck a phone. Yeah, pluck a phone's really nice to have when you're facing Mamutas. Yeah, I do really like that. The, most of the challenge mode caves are actually pretty fun and very creative. A couple of them are very unfair, though. Looking at you, secret testing range. Emperor's Realm is not much fun either. Alright. Let's 
much as I would love to carry all this stuff back, we do gotta get out of here. I was fully expecting a snake rid of some guy. I guess we're still in the early stages of challenge mode where we're not facing off against boss enemies on a regular basis. Ah yes, Mar Mario Party, the game that requires as much skill to win as a coin toss. Just it's much longer. Perfect! Actually, I think it's more likely you'll win a coin toss, because coin toss is one in two. Mario Party's one in four. Twilight Garden, 50 white, 50 whites, 50 yellows, one spicy spray, one floor. Alright, alright, let's, let's see where this goes. So now we're getting a bunch of one floor caves. We start with all these two floor caves. Most of the caves here are very, very short. I think there's only one that has five floors and everything else is less. Which is worse, Mario Sunshine or Mario... Mario Party is worse without even questioning it. I at least still have fun playing Mario Sunshine, but I think it's objectively the worst of the 3D Mario games. But at least I have fun playing parts of it. Mario Party, nope. Mario Party is pure garbage. Some of the minigames, I guess, can kind of be fun. But the actual party mode, no thank you. Okay, one of these bugs, maybe one of these random bugs is going to have the key. That would be kind of funny, actually. It's like, all of this, all these, like, floors you've had, like, the really, really big tough guys have the keys. Now it's, like, the tiniest little bug that has the key. That would actually be funny. Oh! Oh, hi, BD Long Legs! Where, where did you come from? Uh, please, please don't swear in my chat. It is family friendly. No! PD Lone Legs! Okay, I, I gotta admit, I was not ex- I was not expecting Mr. Beady. He shouldn't be too hard, though. I, I was just impatient, and then he got to squash. All right, all right, BD. Uh, yeah, I'll give you that one. That was that was good. That was good. Okay, no, it's not going to be a little bug then. Oh, hi! You were really close to spawn this time. I'm actually going to bring fewer yellow pigment. N okay, fewer than that. Like 30. Or even 27. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to get smooshed on, though. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. Get off of his feet, you dumb pricks! Like, it, when you're up against a giant mechanical spider that is stomping around where each of its feet is bigger than you, the worst place you could attack it is on its feet. I know that Pikmin are literally dumb as vegetables, though, so... I guess I can't blame him for that. No, you don't have to delete the message. That's fine. I just have to remember that so I can censor it out of the YouTube VOD. If, if I was playing a game where I had Twitch chat on screen all the time, I would delete the message just so... But because it's only on screen for 15 seconds, I just have to black out part of the screen for a bit. Just be careful in the future. I'm not, like, super strict. Like, oh, you said the bad word. You banned for life. I'm like, hey, just just be careful. If, if it becomes a reoccurring problem, I'll probably give you a timeout, but it needs to become, like, a really big problem for me to actually issue the ban. No, no worries, no worries. It's all good. No one needs to be timed out. I'm pretty lax about it. I know there are no kids in Twitch chat right now. If there, I mean, if there are kids in Twitch chat, you shouldn't be in Twitch chat. Twitch chat is not a place for kids. Hi, hey. Look, Ma! Okay, I don't want that many pick- 
No more than 30 when you're facing BD Loam Legs. I will also spicy my guys up. I don't... The, I think the main problem with this is just the arena is weird. And by arena, I, Louie's just like, HELP! GIANT MECHANICAL SPIDER! Wait, what?! That is not where it looked like his leg was going! Okay, why is BD Lone Legs giving me so much trouble? Am I just gonna... I think I'm gonna go in with just like 10 or 15 Pikmin, not even 30. This is ridiculous. BD Lone Legs is not a hard boss. At all. I think part of it is just he's walking around on a corner where there's not much room to move around. It's on, It's like the arena is giving me more problems than BD himself. Okay. Alright, there's nothing out here. Come on, I know you're around here somewhere. No! I fought beating Lone Legs twice in story mode, and I beat- in both of those times, I beat him with, uh, on first try without letting anyone die. Okay. I'm gonna have to deal with you, aren't I? Oh, hey! Bullseye. Wow, Bullseye, looks like the new schoolhouse is finally done. Alright, you guys can start carrying stuff back. Still too many Pikmin. There we go, 15. Oh, hey! So he's actually moving around. Like, he's moving in a specific direct- Are you kidding me? Okay, he's moving his legs in ways I am not used to. He normally moves in a very nice square motion. That time, like, he's- I didn't cuss out the- When did I say a cuss word? <laughs> Cluster cuss. Alright, yeah. I think I'm just getting impatient. Like, BD Molnikes has now killed me, I think, four or five times, and so I'm like, I'm gonna get me revenge, and then I'm, I'm being stupid, making the same mistakes, taking longer. This is not even supposed to be a hard four. Are you? Um... Okay, apparently my Leaf Pikmin didn't die there, but they definitely did, like... See, that's the opposite of what happened in the Cavern of Chaos. Cavern of Chaos, nobody died, but the game said they did. Here, guys definitely died, like, he very clearly crushed my Leaf Pikmin. But now the game's like, no, nah, they're fine. No! You guys don't get to come over here! Get off of his foot! Yeah, I'm just gonna keep my distance until he lowers his head. This'll finish him. There we go! And just like in story mode, BD drops us the key. I try I tried my best to keep it that way. I think it's important to let the world know that there are more words than just six. Alright, where's that up here? Yeah, 
Yeah, so the key for BD is, I guess, really just very few Pikmin. I'm glad we had Yellow Pikmin. BD Lone Legs is a lot tougher if you don't have Yellow Pikmin, because it's a lot harder to reach his weak point. Break it open. <laughs> and then Louie can take all the credit for getting through this. Exit the level! Alright, that was good, BD. I gotta give it to you. You were actually a legitimately difficult fight. Like, every time I died to BD, it really felt like it was my fault. Now, will the game say that I lost Pikmin because he crushed- Nope! I definitely saw BD smoosh a bunch of Leaf Pikmin underneath one of his feet, but I guess the game was like, Ah, oh, nah, he's still in his, like, in, like few seconds of spawning, so you're good. Alright! One third of the way for challenge mode. Now we're the Cryptic Cavern. Five reds, five whites, two bitter sprays, three spicy sprays. Oh boy, five floors. This is our first Lolni. Okay, so there are there is more than one level that's five floors. Oh boy. Yeah, so I guess it, I guess Fiend's balanced out, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, I bet you we're getting more Pikmin here. Because, I, I mean, I guess it's theoretically possible to get through this with 10 Pigmen, but it probably is not going to happen. Oh, hey, a doodle, it's a doodle bug. There we go. So far, so good. Carry that back, my wayward son. Oh man, we got a strict time limit. Yes, that's still deeper. Cryptic Cavern, sub level 2. Man, if we have a death at sub level 5, that will suck. <laughs> yeah, wow, that was. You can tell the developers put a lot of time and effort into that first sub level. It's like, we, let's make a big room and put in a doodle bug. That's it. Oh, actually, that might be the gimmick of this cave. Where it's just each floor is like a big open room with one enemy. No, my flowers. Yeah, we don't we don't bring the corpse back. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like each floor has one enemy, but the enemies get progressively more difficult. I think that's how it works. I seem to remember there being a cave like that. We'll just see how that happens. I'm just gonna black out part of the screen, that's how it's gonna happen. Cryptic Cavern, sub level three. Yep, yep. Okay, so this is one where it does make sense to have five floors, if each floor is just one thing. Everybody I know says they need just one thing. Do not... Oh. Oh, no. This... Louie, we're taking this out ourselves. Because this guy can insta-kill our Pikmin if we get on... Yep. Louie... No, you don't get- no, you don't get to run right into my Pikmin, that is not allowed. Louie literally just stood there and let himself get electrocuted. Like, he did not even try to move. Louie was the kid who actually really enjoyed licking the, uh, 9-volt batteries. Apparently there's something buried here. That's interesting, but I sure don't care. <laughs> Alright, I wonder what the next enemy is going to be. I wonder if we'll get more Pikmin. That would be nice.
I appreciate that. Oh, you gotta be... Oh, wait, never... <laughs> never mind, we got sprays. I'm like, how the heck is this gonna work? Here's how this is gonna work. Take our five reds, spicy him up, we burp on him. Oh, wait, that's right, I don't have the heat-proof tunic. Okay, you cannot tell me that that guy was not intended to be done with a bitter spray. There's no way you'd be able to do that without a bitter spray. Was a bug, little bug, hardly there. There you go, you get your flower back, and we're off to the final floor. So floor four was a fiery bowl blax. What the cuss is gonna be on floor five? What? No. What What does that even mean? Ferdy cave? Do you mean Ferdy sub-levels in this cave? Because that's also wrong. Or are you just quoting something obscure that I don't know about? Um... Oh no! You you gotta be kidding me! Oh, I hate this already. I was wondering what the final enemy was gonna be. Then you give me this crud. How about getting stuck so I can actually have a chance at beating you? There we go. That did not do nearly as much damage as I wanted it to. I I hope we don't run out of time for this one, because if, if Burrowing Snagrit just decides to be a jerk butt, then we actually, I don't think, we'll have enough time to beat him. Wow, he has a sliver of HP left. There we go. Wow, he was like at zero HP. Ah, oh, I guess it's the amazing the power that spicy sprays can have. Nice job, men! That was good. Also, we const every time I go to a new floor, it constantly switches me back to Walmart. I want to play as Louie. He's got better sound effects. And blue's a uh, better color. <laughs> Sorry, Big Bird, but there you go. So each level... Each, like, of these things that we do in challenge mode... So, like, the Cryptic Cavern is a cave, and it had five sub-levels. Every cave has multiple sub-levels, but one sub-level only belongs to a single cave. Alright, well that took a little bit of time. Now we're on Concrete Maze with two white Pikmin, free floors, and no sprays. Well gee, we better get some of those flowers that let us duplicate Pikmin. Because otherwise we gonna be at a standstill. Or we're gonna be doing something very slowly. Oh, barf on a lasagna! This is a lot of <laughs> ground to cover. Ready? <laughs> Go! <laughs> Louie. How fast can you break down that gate? Wow! Take a lesson, Blue Pikmin! That's what strength looks like! <laughs> this actually might be a dungeon where it's like there aren't enemies. You just have to find where the key is. Oh my gosh, that's no time. That is an incredibly strict time limit. Oh, 
Oh, doggone it. And guess what? The key could be buried underground somewhere. Nope, the key's in there. Okay, yeah, this is a level where you're on a very strict time limit. Look at that, 35 seconds, we haven't even had the next cave appear. Omar, you stay there. We'll split up, one, only one of us actually has to reach the cave. This is a really unique idea for a cave, though. I really like it. It's just, man, way to put pressure on me. Alright, where's it gonna appear? Is it gonna be here behind the gate that we broke earlier? I probably will. Oh, yep, how did I guess? That's why I left Omar behind there. Bada beam, bada boom! Yes, don't quote things that have swear words in them. That still counts as swearing. It's not an issue of I don't want people's. It's an issue of I don't want those swear words to be seen by kids who might happen to watch my videos. Right. Oh, yeah, this is fair, fun, and balanced. Now the bombs appear. There we go. Turn down for what? Look at how gigantic this is. I've got to make him blow up because they still have to carry the key back. And if they're carrying the key, he'll blow them up on the way back. <laughs> Where's that blasted key? Oh wait, I think I see it in there. There it is. Okay, really? I don't, the man, the pick, the Pikmin two developers really liked explosives. That's all I can say. I mean, it's not the only thing I can say, but I will say it because it's definitely true. Um. Louie, get away from there. Okay. Really? Thankfully, these guys follow the captains. What the heck? I walked through that area and none of these bombs fell. Like, look, I walked through these hallways. The bombs did not spawn, and now that the Pikmin are- thank goodness these are flowered up white Pikmin. Oh my lord. Oh, I bet- I wonder if it's gonna spawn over there. I'm barely making it through these- these caves. In time. It's definitely a welcome change of pace from just like, slaughter 800,000 enemies. But this is also bad. Like... This cave is ridiculously massive. Like, half of this time, more than half this time is just spent carrying the freaking key back. Okay, it's going on the platform somewhere, and that somewhere is not here. Oh, hey, it's where we found the key. I can do that. All right, let's delve deeper. Let me tell you what, this is one of those caves where it really helps to be playing two-player. Because then you can split up, everyone takes one white Pikmin, you only need one Pikmin to carry the key, and you can basically divide and conquer the level. Oh, this is a lot smaller. Is this going to be you spend most of the time digging the key up? Or is this level bigger than I expect? Oh, hey!
This might be a level where I fail because time runs out, as a matter of fact. Actually, wait, I don't think I even need to duplicate the Pikmin at all. The key is right here. Go on, go on. Summon a stupid trap. Do it. I think they literally just give you the ability to get more Pikmin just because they're like, wait, you're not going to be able to destroy the geyser with just two Pikmin. Yeah, two Pikmin would not be able to destroy this in time. So this was definitely a unique level. I think it's pretty clear this level was designed to be balanced for two player and not one player. But, I mean, hey, we got out anyways, provided they can knock this down in 30 seconds. Which they should have no problem doing. Alright, nice job, guys. Nice job outrunning all of the volatile dweebles. Perfect! And there we go, the game has been saved. Alright, we're on the Collector's Room. There are 50 White Pikmin, 2 Binners, and 3 Spicy. 7 floors?! What?! I thought the- I thought the highest floor count on a Challenge Mode cave was 5! Not 7! Oh dear lord. I think- I think- I think this will be tiny floors, if that's the case. Because 7 is way too much for a level where you can't save between the sub-floors. Alright, so Big Burfa here, guess what? Yep, you guessed it. Has the key. Well, that's what happens when you eat poisonous Pikmin. That's also what happens when the game spawns a fat guy in a dead end facing you, so you cannot possibly defeat him without using the bitter spray. Something tells me that there's going to be nastier enemies to deal with than red bull warbs, so I don't want to use a bitter spray if I don't have to. All right, now, come on. Don't be a butt. There we go. Okay, well, now the shoe's in front of him. But I can deal with that. Maybe. Oh my gosh, look how fast they are. Fine, I'll use Bitter Spray. But I bet you I'm going to regret it. There's the chalk. There's the cave. That's dumb. Do you just have to use a bitter spray on the first floor? Because, again, white Pikmin, they're really, really good workers. They're very fast. They're not great at attacking. Although they seem to be stronger than the blue Pikmin. Oh, hey, it's the creepy cat bobblehead! I like how you see the old treasures again. Oh yeah, sure enough, look at that. There's a tougher version of the enemy right here. No, go back to sleep. I think it was just a mouse. Ah, that's a... That time limit, though. Alright, I need you to hurry up and go back to sleep. No, okay, this stupid idiot is not going back to sleep. There goes my other bitter spray. Alright, no, 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 you guys, you guys gotta, you gotta go do a better job than that. Choo! Like a rocket. 
Oh, but we're literally clipped inside the, the cave. That's awesome. Unfortunately, we're on sub-level 3 of 7, and we have no more bitter sprays. So if they throw any tough enemies at us, we're just done. Well, this is a nice tiny floor. Surely there won't be any hidden enemies here, right? No, of course there is. There we go. Again, we're still having to use a spray every floor, which I don't like. Yes, gosh darn honey is a very acceptable. It won't bring them back. Alright, collector's room sub level 4. Go ahead, throw another fat guy at me that I have to use a spray on. Okay, no, I don't have to use a spray on this guy. This guy is actually easier. I think he has less HP than the Red Bull Orb, and it takes him longer to get up. So. See? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Now we've got sprays for the rest of the floors. Alright, here we go. Here we go, a Caroline! Collector's room, sub-level 5. Oh wait, did I do my- no, I didn't do my math right. Uh, we have three sub-levels left and two sprays. Oh great! And you put the freaking red bulb orb right here sleeping in my face. So I can't even sneak up on his back. Cool. That's fair. Louie, take the children and, uh... <laughs> Go back there. I'm gonna s try and distract this man. Now I'm hoping he'll lose. Oh no, it's a dead end. Come on, come on. All right, all right. That may have been a big mistake. Alright, now don't turn around. Just just sit down. Go back to sleep. Don't turn around. Okay, you're, uh... Oh, no! Okay, well, this just is not good. No, no, no. Get out of the way, 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 get out of the way! Playing dangerous games with this bull warp here. Okay, nope. Wow, this does not seem in any way fair or balanced at all. It feels like you have to wait and hope you get the right spawn ins. I, it feels like the gimmick for this world is let them eat your white Pikmin to just kill them quickly. But if you want to do it deathless, you freaking can't do that. Alright. But yeah, like, look at that. Sometimes he immediately lurches and eats your Pikmin, and sometimes he'll be like, ah, ugh, and get stunned and, like, have to shake him off. I do not know what determines what. This bull warp is going, jumping through every hoop possible just to eat poisonous vegetables. Like, he do doesn't seem to realize that he will die if he eats them. Um, are you serious there, White Pikmin? Like, are you for real? Oh my gosh, we killed him just before he was able to swallow. And everyone gathered together to say... Hooray! I can't believe... I thought for sure that he had eaten a white pigment and that was what finished him off. Nope! Okay, this one we are definitely using a bitter spray for. Bitter spray on an orange bulb orb, no question. Especially when he's facing us right there.
Was that a Thomas and Friends reference? No, that was a reference to the many the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh ride at Disney World. Okay. Yeah, see, like, that time he just stunlocked him in place and he couldn't do anything. But then there are other times where he's just like, I'm gonna eat immediately. Suck it. Artie did go to Disney... Artie goes to Disney World pretty frequently with his family. I have I have family living in or the Orlando area. It was weird for people to see a 2D inkbot walk around, but, you know, they just thought it was part of the park. Okay. This is good, because now we can go through this floor, also without using a spray. Then we have sprays for all the remaining floors. Yeah, those hairy bulb orbs. They're, for some reason, a lot easier than the red ones. And obviously the orange variety, but that stands to reason. They really should have put in a Tonka truck, uh, treasure. Ah, well. I wonder if Nintendo had to go around to be like, Hey, Ragu, would you be willing to, like, have one of your lids in our games? Like, okay. Hey, Vlasic, can we have a tub of gherkins in a world in our game? They're like, oh, okay. Alright, this... Alright. Alright, here's what we're going to do for this one. We're going to do what I was trying to do last time, but this time we're going to do it good. Okay. Okay. He'll go after Omar. We lure him far away, to a place he's never been, and we lose him there! <laughs> now we just run the heck away. Worst case scenario, we can use a bitter spray, but I think this will cause him to go back to sleep. Hopefully in a more compromising position. Nope, he's still marching around like the little goober that he is. Okay, come on, go back to sleep. No, he's going back to sleep in exactly the same position that he was for the first time. Literally, okay, fine. I don't have the time for this. I was hoping I could just use a spicy spray, but because he refused to show his backs... Oh, look, a spicy spray. Couldn't it have been a bitter spray? Doggone it. If, if he's facing directly, there was literally no possible way that I could have gone around to his backside. And if that's the case, there's no... Even with a spicy spray, it's not guaranteed to kill him without him killing some of your guys. So that was annoying. I thought I could lure him away, and then he would at least turn around in the opposite direction and open up his backside. And, oh, no, you've got to be kidding me. There better be a way to get behind that guy. There is not, because why would there be? All right. We're going to do the same thing we tried to do last time, but this time we do it good. Okay. Louis, stay with the kids. Oh, look, it's the ketchup packet. I could punch him to death. Ouch. Okay, maybe punching him to death is not the best idea. All right. Now, if I move far enough away... Why is this game constantly spawning in the giant monsters facing right at you with no possible way to make them turn around? Oh, you know. He's here. Louie. We need to fend him off. We need to punch him to death ourselves. Louie, that includes you. Louie, move your butt over here and beat him up! Ooh. 
gosh, the things I do to it to stop the Pikmin from dying. I have gotten spectacularly unlucky with the dungeon spawner. Like, I think basically every single Bulwarp have spawned facing me, making it nearly impossible to get the jump on them. Oh, I, I'm aware Louie was stuck behind a wall. That was what was annoying me. Alright, no Pikmin have died. Cool. Sub level 7, we got free spicy sprays. Actually, maybe four. I forget. Oh, no! That is not a Bulborb. Move it, move it, move it. I don't like how he's taking cover around this rob head. Here, shoot me. Come on. Yeah, aim. Gatling Gronk. There we go! Alright! How come the Gatling Groint gave me less trouble than the generic fat guys? Yeah, we'll bring Rob's head over there. <laughs> this is like the Nintendo floor. We've got all the Nintendo-related uh, treasures, pretty much. That's funny. Alright, wow. That was probably three or four sub-levels too long. But there we go. Collector's room is finished. I don't think that was a particularly well-designed dungeon, but there we go. We beat it anyways. Alright, Dweevil Nest. 25 of every Pikmin type except Purple Pikmin. One floor. There we go. Yeah, I'm familiar with it. I don't know why everyone's making a big deal about it. Like, just stop paying attention to the celebrities. They want the attention. I feel like every single... I feel like every single Oscars, there's, like, some... Something that happens that people are going, Oh my gosh, this was huge! Did you see this? And it's like, it's really not that big of a deal. Oh, wow, the key's just right here. Although, there have been some funny memes that have come from it. Again, I normally am just like, hey, just ignore the dumb celebrity nonsense. There was a really funny meme of, like, Will Smith, like, about to slap him, and it was doing, like, the Paper Mario charge up your hammer thing. <laughs> it, that one actually made me laugh out loud. I do love me some Paper Mario. Wow, was that it? Wow! Boy, they... They did not do a very good job of balancing the order of the difficulty. Like, that was significantly easier than, like, the last ten floors. Than the last ten caves. <laughs> what the heck? I just had to kill one Dweevil, and it wasn't even, like, an Anno Dweevil. It was instant death. It was a fiery one. <laughs> the easiest. <laughs> Perfect! Wow, that was really easy. Alright, next we got the Cavernous Abyss. 25 reds, 25 whites, 2 spicy sprays, 1 floor. I'm digging these 1 floor ones now, after that 7 floor monstrosity. Is there going to be a floor where I'll have to reset a bunch of times? I don't know of specific floors. I guarantee you the secret testing range I'm going to have to reset a couple times, and probably the Emperor's Realm. Those are going to be later on, though. 
All right. Oh, boy. So, what spider are we fighting? There's a giant web on the floor, so I assume we're fighting a spider. Oh, hey, it's a munched weevil. Um, I might fight beating Walm Legs again, or Raging Walm Legs. It's Raging Walm Legs! Okay. Yeah, the game must be nice enough to be like, alright, if he lands on you when he falls in, when you can't predict that, then it's not going to kill your Pikmin. Thankfully, this guy's easy. We just, again, we just have to be patient. Okay, well, it is easy. You do just have to be patient. I'm gonna, I'm gonna split up my Pikmin forces. I'm gonna take just 20 reds for that fight. That way I can throw them all on his body. And I don't have to worry about him smooshing the other ones. It's just, there is a fine balance of patience because, because we have a time limit, we can't be too patient. We do have to be on the aggressive side. But we can't be so impatient that we end up losing Pikmin. Yeah, so my red Pikmin have higher attack power than the white ones, so I'm gonna send in just, I think, only 20 of them. We have 25 reds, but I'm... When I fought Raging Walm Legs in the Hole of Heroes, I only brought in 20 purple Pikmin, and they slaughtered him. So I think that's gonna be a similar thing I will do here. So, split him up. Okay. Beautiful. That that's good. There we go. I also know his pattern. So wait for him to stop stomping around like a madman. Toss the Pikmin on his body. Okay. Ideally, you want to whistle the Pikmin off him before he starts his raging stampede. Okay. My whistle just didn't work, but that's okay, because he shook them all away. Ideally, like, maybe... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait a little bit when he starts resting like this. So I'm gonna throw them on now. Yeah. So now they're gonna keep attacking him while he moves his legs. He has to wait for all four of his legs to move before he can shake them off. And there we go. How the heck did one of my white Pikmin get over here? You were very lucky you did not get smooshed. Bring that back. Alright. See? Easy. Now, I think there might be dweevils around here. I believe I saw... Yep, how did I know? It's a munched weevil. Oh, look, it's a munched weevil. No, 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 that's not your key. No, that's not your key. They're like, oh, they're good. They're too fast. I can't... Raging... Maybe this is a uh, controversial opinion. I think Raging Walm Legs is easier than BD Walm Legs. Even though he's, like, the second to last boss of the game. Raging Walm Legs is, like... If, if you know his pattern, he is laughably easy. He looks intimidating, he has a lot of HP, he can crush a lot of Pikmin. But if you know what you're doing, like, he can't do a Dane thing. How many times have I completed challenge mode? Um, once. And, it, I, and I completed it co-op. I did not complete it solo, so... Well, I completed some of it co-op. Some of them I did do solo.
Cavernous Abyss. Not too bad. All right, guys, we are officially halfway through challenge mode. So we're, let's keep going. Snack Pit, five of every pigment type, one floor, no sprays. This sounds like a fun one. <laughs> Snack Pit, is this going to have a lot of, like, the donut treasures and some bread bugs? I hope so. We haven't seen bread bugs in a while. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what it is. And from the look of Fanes, we're going to have the giant bread bug here, too. Yep, yeah, there's Giant Breadbug! Easiest boss in the game. Even though Giant Breadbug, despite the fact that he can't kill any of your pigment, I had to reset for him more than I had to for, like, any other boss in the game. Oh, no, you do Oh, no, you don't, Big Bird! You can take that, Cracker. That's fine. All right, let's see if he wants to find another treasure. <laughs> I love how he literally just looks like a giant loaf of bread. It's amazing. Yeah, no, that's that's my cookie. That's my cookie. I'm gonna stop the stream when I feel like stopping the stream. So we're keep we're gonna keep going. All this for a loaf of bread? Well, yes, but actually, no. I did like a mental tally after I finished my uh, my actual story mode streams, and I discovered like a lot of the bosses that I'm like, this is gonna be like, the hardest boss in the whole game. I did first try, and a lot of the ones that I thought we were gonna be super easy, I actually had to reset a bunch of times for. So the bosses in story mode, I correct me if I'm wrong, I believe the bosses in story mode that I beat first try were Raging Lone Legs, the Pregnant Empress Bullblacks. Don't you dare get dragged in there before right at the end. Yeah, so the ones that I was able to do first try were Pregnant Empress Bullblacks, Raging Lone Legs, Segmented Crobster, Raging Bloister, BD Lone Legs, and I believe the Pileated Snagret. And then there were, like, the giant bread bug I had to set, like, reset three times for. I think the boss that made me reset the most was just the default burrowing snake, right? Which was ridiculous. Free color training. 30 yellows, 15 purples, 15 whites, two spices, one floor. When they said free color training, I was kind of thinking the free primaries, but I'm ha I'll happily do this. I did get extremely lucky with some of the boss fights, yes. But also, I was extremely skilled for some of the boss fights. Like, the Crobster, I think, was, by and large, pretty much skill. So was, like, Raging Lone Legs. So was the Pregnant Empress. Oh, no! Why? Yeah, I see you up there. Waving your arms in the air like you just don't care. It isn't my least favorite enemy in the game. Don't go around on the other side, you dolt. Fighting Gowling Groinks really feels like a battle of luck. It really does. I can't tell how much HP he has left, by the way. Okay, he still has a lot. Come on, come on, finish him off, finish him off. Yes! He didn't kill any of my guys somehow. Carry that back, and we should be good to go. Yeah, this is this is like that one floor at the beginning of the Dream Den. You are 100% correct. Is 
They call it free color training, but it seemed to me like one color did all the work. <laughs> Which enemy gave me the most trouble? Um, good question. I mean, the the single enemy that gave me the most trouble was that one stupid yellow Wallywog in Perplexing Pool who killed me like 80 times. <laughs> but if you're talking about enemies generically, probably the armored cannon beetle larva. They sucked. Perfect! I mean, Gatling Grunks were annoying, but I didn't have to reset for Gatling Grunks actually that much at all. Partly because I didn't really give them a chance, I just bitter sprayed them. We might do all of challenge mode this stream, guys. Hazard training, 25 red, 25 blue, 1 bitter, 1 uh, spicy, and 2 floors. Alright, we got a 2 floor one this time. The Wally Walk's just so glitchy, man. So dang glitchy. Oh boy, we got water here. I mean, it still might take two streams, but I have a feeling we can get it all done in one stream. Maybe I'll stream for longer than usual. Alright, there's nothing over there. Fuzzy was, he was bear. Alright, I gotta find the key, man. Oh gee, I wonder where the key is gonna be. No, surely it's not going to be inside that fiery bulb wax over there. Definitely not. <laughs> Longer streams means more arty bucks. All right, Omar. You're the color red, so you're going to take the red Pikmin. Where's the last... You're going to take the red Pikmin. Louie, you're blue. You're going to take the blue Pikmin. And we're going to clear away for the red Pikmin when they inevitably bring the prize back. Oh, man. Pikmin cherries. I love Pikmin cherries. They're my favorite part of uh, two-player battle mode. I did not trust that. I had a feeling that if I had left them, let them stay on... He would have flung them into the wall, and they would have clipped through the wall and fallen into a uh, bottomless abyss. I don't have any evidence that that's what would have happened, but I just had a hunch that that's what would have happened. Okay, this guy actually might be a bit difficult, because he's right next to a giant pool of water. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Burp! Murder him. Oh, man, gosh, I'm just so good at calling which enemies are going to have the keys. <laughs> this is hardly a gamble. <laughs> oh, I, I absolutely would have had to reset if that was the case. Oh, wait, there's a, there's a fiery dweevil in there. Change of plans, man. All right. I'm going to try to bring that through the water. Okay, that... Are you kidding me? That red Pikmin is stuck. Yeah. See? No, no, don't, don't bring that in here, you doofus. Now the freaking... See, now the fiery dweevil has it, and we're going to have to deal with him now. You could have taken a shortcut through the water, because you're water Pikmin. Nice job. You, br you, bring the, you bring that back. Yeah, you're good. You're good, you're good, you're good. That's beautiful. We do it together. Ah, <laughs> oh, I knew the game was gonna be over here. Oh wait, I'm so stupid. I you, I thought there there's an ever sub level, and I used both my sprays when I didn't have to. Okay, hope I don't need a spray for this one. Uh oh. I don't know why I was on a roll of all these one-floor dungeons. I forgot that there was two. Okay, I hope there's not another fiery bulb wax on this floor. There's not, but there's an orange bulb orb, and I guarantee you that guy's gonna have the prize. I hope he doesn't, but he definitely will. Like, 100%. Here, you can take... Yes. 
Mr. Dweevil, you can take that. that Dwe the Dweevils only will take stuff that you're trying to take. How wood. I don't like where this might go. I don't know why I'm talking quietly. It's not like he can hear my real voice. All right. Charge! And we hope and pray that... No, okay. If he turns around like that, it's... You're dead. No! No, we're not! We're not! Oh my gosh! We pulled through! I am so proud of you. Don't know why I did that voice, but uh, I, I am. Don't dump it in the water or do anything. Oh, good. The Dweevil fell in the water like a goofus. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Of course the key was in the bulb orb. Why would it be anywhere else? It's always in the roughest, toughest, most difficult enemy to kill. Always. Cool. Well, I think we kind of lucked out on that second floor with the orange bull warp just barely not killing us in time. But I'll take it. Do we even want to go swimming? Well, you know, hey, swimming is pretty fun. I fully admit. It's probably my favorite method of exercise because I barely even consider it exercise. That's how fun it is. All right, we're on the next one. The Cave of Snarls. That's a good name. We got 20 reds, 25 blues, 5 purples, and 2 bitter sprays with 2 floors. Five purples can't do a whole lot, but they still can stun, and we're going to take advantage of that. All right, Cave of Snarls. There are, this, there are still three caves left that I know by name that are going to be tough. One of them I have not brought up yet. Oh, no. I don't like where this is going. I don't like being surrounded by water on all sides. Oh, hey, Puffy Bullhog probably is going to be the one who has the, the power. Okay. We're not gonna let you die. I'm guessing the Puffy Bullhog is going to have the prize inside, though. Never mind! It was Wavering Bullhog. Cool. You guys can bring that back, and all will be right with the world. That bug can't hurt us, so that's fine. Alright, first floor so far so good. How the heck did you get all the way over there? <laughs> swimming feels more like a sport. I just swim casually, like, at a pool. Mmm, it's so fun. And it actually, like, it does get you a decent workout, but it doesn't feel like it. Oh yeah, challenge mode, you see, I think, every enemy and just about every boss in the game. I think the only boss you don't see is the Titan Dweevil, the final boss. I think all of the others, the game will throw at you at some point in challenge mode. Alright, final floor. Okay, well, at least it's not going to be... Okay, I don't care about you guys. I'm sorry, you gals. Is this just going to be a simple case of the Wivering Blowhog? I mean, I'm okay with that, but I feel like that's a little anticlimactic after the last couple of caves we've done. We just gotta be careful not to let him knock us off the bottomless pit. Okay, come on, guys. You're better than this. You can kill him faster than that. There's a bunch of us, and we're powerful. Yeah, sure enough, it's just... okay. Feels somewhat disappointing. I mean, I'll take it, but... Oh, oh, I see. Gonna try to throw in some bugs to eat us at the end, huh? Well, I won't let you! Yeah, man, th there's not a very... I feel like the difficulty curve is not very consistent. Yeah, and that's fine. I don't need a huge Twitch chat. 
Literally zero people could have joined, and I still would have had fun today. Because it's just such a beautiful day. Man, yeah, challenge mode's going great this far. Ha <laughs> ha They're not gonna bug us today! Oh, that was a good one. I love that one. Get it? The Giant's Bath! Oh, I've been waiting for this one! So 50 per, uh, blue Pikmin, 5 spicy sprays, 2 floors. This is gonna be fun. The Giant's Bath. So we're probably going to the Tile Lands. Yep, here at the bathtub. Alright, who's the biggest, baddest guy around here? Oh, hey, it's Toady Bloister. Betcha Toady Bloister is gonna have the key. Even though I personally consider the Bumbling Snitch Bug to be a much bigger threat. Look at that. I, you literally can't hit him if you don't have Yellow Pikmin. And he can just shrug the Pikmin off like they're nothing. Like, look at that! I threw every single one of my Pikmin at him, and not one of them made him fall down. And he took out a quarter of Louis' HP. Are you... are you serious? How many hundreds of Pikmin do you have to throw at him to, for him to actually freaking die? Sometimes you throw one at him, and he's just like, oh, I guess this is the apocalypse. Just kill him already. Good grief. That enemy is far more difficult than it has any right to be. Look at this, he just murdered Olimar and Louie. They have almost no HP left. Alright, I bet you Toady Bloister here is gonna have the key. Toady Bloister's weak point looks super big, but it is incredibly tiny. Oh yeah, there's the key. Give it to me. Thank you. I'm gonna take this guy's corpse back just because he was so annoying. <laughs> the boss must be stinky with the giant block of soap. Ah, I never thought about it, but I'm sure some of the enemies in Pikmin 2 would smell really bad. Exhibit A, the doodle bug. Alright, where's the cave out? Where's the cave out? Where's the cave down? Oh, there's the cave down. No, I'm not getting the bar of soap, not getting the baby bottle pop. We go into the next floor. It's true, no one is taking a bath, but that's because it's time for sub-level 2. And in case you couldn't tell based on the name and what we've seen thus far... Time for Raging Bloister. That was close. Okay, these Pikmin need to get off of him. Do they not realize that he can and will eat them? Ooh. 
get off of him. This is a cool idea, but he takes way too long to beat. Thank goodness you have several hundred seconds. Walmar, you don't get to run away like- oh, Louis, stop running towards his face, you doofus. Finish him off, finish him off. Uh oh. That's not good. 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 That is not good. Pikmin, stop being right in front of him. Wow, the Pikmin were almost suicidally stupid at the end there, but thankfully we got it through. Take that, Mr. Giant's bath. Why would they give you white? Pikmin at the end here. That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, it would- I think it would be impossible to do this within that time limit if you didn't let any Pikmin die. Unless maybe if you're playing, um, two-player. Because if you're playing two-player, one person with the captain can just distract him and the other will... Yeah. Yeah. Again, I have a love-hate relationship with that boss. I think it's a really clever boss, and I love the sounds he makes, but it's not very fun to fight. Oh, that's why, yeah. I guess that's true, you can feed him white Pikmin to kill him faster. But then you don't get the pink flower. The game has been saved. Alright, I mean, we're two-thirds of the way through. I think we can finish challenge mode this stream, even if the stream might run for a little longer. Rumbling Grotto, 30 reds, 30 blues, 3 bitters, 4 spices, 2 floors. Well, okay. The, the, the sheer amount of sprays we have means I'm not super worried about this. But you never know. I have gotten... Well, I've gotten perfect on all the levels I've played. Alright. Oh, wow. A lot of... Um, Cloaking burrow nits, eh? They're easy. Oh no, not sheer wigs. Hey, how about murdering him? Are you are you serious? Why do my Pikmin just reflect? It's like, oh no, the sheer wig ate a Pikmin. We can't hurt him until he's finished eating. That would be rude. Like I swear, as soon as the sheer wig eats one of the Pikmin, they just become invincible until they finished eating. Even if you've got a swarm of 99 purples on them, like, they're just like, nope, don't, don't care. I'm, I will not die until I finish eating this one guy. Alright, let's find, let's find out where the key is first. Oh, I see, that's a creeping chrysanthemum. I'm not going that way unless I have to. Wait a second, I bet the Creeping Chrysanthemum has the key. That's fine, we can use the Bitter Spray on him. Um... Wow, he literally just said, no, I don't care about the bitter spray. Okay, I didn't want to waste both of my bitter sprays on a guy who didn't even give me a key. But alright then, sure. Oh, Glint Beetle. I bet this might have the key, actually.
Nope, he just had a coin. Oh, no, you don't. Are you serious? Okay, the Shearwigs get the award for the enemy that should be the easiest to beat, but for some reason are the most difficult. Because you saw how many Pikmin I were throwing directly on their back, which is supposed to be an insta-kill, and he just would not take any damage at all. It, it literally seems like he eats... If he if there's a Pikmin in his mouth, he cannot take damage until he has devoured the Pikmin. Which is really colossally stupid. Alright. Okay, there's a Creeping Chrysanthemum right at the other side of this gate. So we break it down, and then we run. I hate Sherwigs. So that's got a gyroid behind it. Just trying to figure out where the key is. Oh, there it is. Oh, the key's just lying out? I thought for sure a weird enemy was going to have it. The problem is, I have a hunch that my Pikmin are going to be like, Let's bring this through the creeping chrysanthemum! Let him eat us! If they are smart, they'll take the long way around, but they're not going to. Actually, wait, are they? Oh my gosh, my Pikmin are actually semi-intelligent! It's an April Fool's miracle. That That's exactly the way you're supposed to bring it! Bravo! That was so good. Alright, now where did the hole appear? Smurf, Smurf, Smurfs! Oh, it's over by the Creepy Chris Anthemum. Alright, let's delve a little deeper. Wow, we didn't even have to use any of our sprays, which means we've got like five sprays for the final sub level, which is great. It sounds like they're humming Smurf, Smurf, Smurfs! Alright, this screams Pileated Snagrit! What did I tell ya? Are you, are you serious? What do you mean that it, that literally blew right on his face? Are you... Are you serious? It literally said no to two of my bitter sprays, even though I did it right on top of him. I'm gonna lose Pikmin because of that. Wow, I literally lost Pikmin just because the game said, no, you don't get to bitter spray him. That was literally right on his face. I don't think how much of it was I missed rather than the game just said no. At least that second spray that I did was directly on top of him. There was no way it missed. Alright, let's see. Let's find the key again. At least now I know that the key is freestanding. Oh, sweet. The key is right over here. Oh, great. Sweet. The key is blocked by a creeping chrysanthemum. Because, of course it is. Um, that was close. My Pikmin are like, I don't care if Pikmin are dying. I just want to bring this worthless piece of trash back.
But nobody cares about the coins. All I care about is the key. I wasn't gonna swear, I was just trying to figure out what word to use. Because there are swear words, and then there are non-swear words, but then there are creative non-swear words. And I did not end up using one of the creative non-swear words. Okay, so how about instead of getting sucked into the tree root, we try to find out where this cave exit is. down a gate. Of course we do. Who told you you could do that? I didn't. Oh, that's a Creeping Chrysanthemum right there. I cannot believe that Creeping Chrysanthemum is not popping up to murder my guys. But I'll, you know what, I'll take that as a gift from heaven. <laughs> Alright. Now I know the Pileated Snagret is right freaking next to you at the base. Alright, he dig he dug into the concrete. Affiliated Snagret. You're not eating me for lunch today. This guy's one of the more obnoxious bosses. Just because he takes so long. And you need crazy reflexes, because there's very little time for you to tell, like, oh, he got stuck on the way up, versus just like, oh, nope, he's coming up to eat me. Yeah. There we go. I also don't know why they don't just all swarm his face, because it's clearly his face that got stuck. But instead they swarm his foot, which basically doesn't take damage. I don't even trust to use bitter sprays anymore. Because they seem to just not work. Not to mention that he has such good defense that even if they do work, you barely deal any damage to him. But man, he loves making me waste my spicy sprays. No! Bad Pikmin. You do not get to volunteer to be lunch today. I want my prize. Are you serious? Another reason why the Pileated Snagret sucks is if he just decides he's not getting stuck, then he's not getting stuck, and there's no reliably safe way to beat him. I believe it is supposed to be a 50% chance that he gets stuck on the way up, and thus far he has gotten up immediately about eight times in a row. There we go. So glad we dealt the whopping zero damage to him. It's so difficult to hit him in the face. There we go. I think for the spicy spray, or for the bitter sprays, you need to spray his foot, not his head. That's the only thing that would make sense to me. Alright, bada beam bada boom. We got there eventually. You can tell we're ramping up the, to the big leagues now.
Perfect. Oh yeah, if that's what happens if you avoid trying to get all of the treasure and just care about getting to the end. It doesn't take that long. The subterranean layer, 20 of the primary colors, two sprays, two, sp two of each spray, one floor. Okay, subterranean layer. This could be interesting. Is this going to be the pregnant empress? No, I don't think so. Is this going to be another raging bloister? Oh no, it's going to be a bull bear. Okay. I bet you that the bull bear has the key. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, there's a lot more than one, actually. Which one has the key? That one had the key. Cool. Glad we didn't have to waste any more bitter sprays than that. Alright, where's that appearing? Oh, that's perfect! Oh, that was great timing. Break it open and we can get out of here. And wow, that was a really quick one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Challenge mode is easy! <laughs> okay, that one was luck with how things spawned in. Again, boulders are one of those enemies where if you want to get through them unscathed, you kind of need bitter sprays. Alright. Hidden Garden, we got no Pikmin and one floor. Okay. How the heck is this one gonna work? <laughs> oh! We have no Pikmin, but we do have Bulbmin. I see. Interesting. Okay, yeah, you can stop sniffing my butt now. Thank you. Oh, it's a pretty level. This is... This is literally ripped right out of the, a sna the snake root hole, isn't it? It really feels like this got ripped right out of the snake root hole. <laughs> Let, let's not talk about the inappropriate jokes. Let's talk about appropriate jokes that are funny on their own merits. Alright, where's the key? Oh, hey. Okay, I guess I'm getting yellow, Pikmin. Kinda wanted red, but alright. This is an interesting level. I wonder, I guess any one of these bugs could have the key. But I feel like if they don't put the key inside a strong enemy, they're just gonna have it standing somewhere. But maybe that's wrong. Wow, that guy actually is beating me up. I'm getting... I'm losing to a leaf. Just beat him up. Wow, he did have the key. Glad I stood by... I'm glad I stayed behind to beat them up. Said you're dismissed. <laughs> now I just wonder where the uh, exit's gonna appear. Hmm. Yeah, I literally think that some of these. In playing for challenge mode, I feel like some of these 
levels just got ripped right out of other dungeons from the main game. Like, this is literally an exact replica of a level that is in the Snake Grid Hole. Like, completely identical. Oh, that's right, I actually need to beat up the geyser. Once again, this one is far, far easier than many of the ones that preceded it. Alright, come on, beat him up again. No worries, we still got 95 seconds, but, like, we do need to escape eventually. There we go, beautiful. Yeah, I, I don't mind them reusing old dungeon layouts, but, like, that one, I don't think they really changed anything. Except, like, where the treasures were. Like, even the enemies were the same. So it was kind of disappointing. Alright, next we've got the Abduction Den. 30 reds, 30 yellows, 1 bitter, 2 spices, 1 floor. I don't like the name of this one, Abduction Den. But alright, here we go! Okay, we're finally in a snow cavern. I was waiting for these. These have the prettiest design. Alright, what makes it- OH NO! OH NO! WHY?! <laughs> I was having such a good time. Then I see one careening Dirigi bug, and it's all ruined. Oh no 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 no! Okay, kill him, kill him, kill him. Do not even give him a chance to freaking snatch my captains. Kill him. Thank you. Oh, it's the Paradoxical Enigma! A.K.A. the Rubber Ducky. Okay, I think the key is probably going to be in the Greater Spotted Jelly Float, so I'm just going to make a beeline over there and kill him. Well, the Bomb Rocks had been back for a while. No, it's the... Oh, uh, Bar Farm of freaking Smorgasbord. No! Oh, come off it! How come they didn't blow the spumbling snitch bug up? Those guys are just like, you're not killing the bumbling snitch bug. As soon as you get close, we're gonna murder you. Okay, no, 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 no. Hi, no, no, no. Yeah, you can tell they didn't play test this one very well. Oh, no. <sighs> Darn it! Like, how do you deal with this? There's 800 enemies in the way, and they're all aerial, and they're constantly attacking. Like, how do you deal with this? You can't. Omar, you're gonna die. Who made this level and thought it was good difficulty? Oh, great. So we're dead. Uh, we're dead now because both of our captains are occupied. We can't do anything to get rid of them, and... And Omar's dead. 
No, no, no. Here's the thing. The enemies that we are facing are not designed to be killed in, like, groups of a hundred. They're designed to be killed one at a time, maybe two. If you throw, like, five of them together, there's nothing you can do to safely get rid of them. I guess we could use sprays, but, um... I don't even think sprays would do anything. Because they're all airborne enemies, and bitter sprays just don't work. And it doesn't matter if you can kill them faster if killing them results in you just flat-out dying. Great, so the jelly floats over this way, because of course it is. Let's get rid of the fire geysers first. Then the bumbling snitch bugs. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now murder him, murder him, murder him. I don't care if a bomb rock falls this way. We can kill him before the bomb rock actually goes off. Cool, that's a big step out of the way. These Korean dirigi bugs are still completely unfair, though. Cool. That's one of them down. This is great. See, they're, they're more spread out on this one. So we can actually kill them one at a time. Now we can go to town on the Jelly Float, who I'm pretty sure is going to be the one that actually has the key we're looking for. There. Bingo. Again, biggest enemy? We'll have the key. Favorite and least favorite enemy in this game? Oh, that's a tough one. Hmm. We're talking about common enemies and not bosses, right? Because my answer will change depending on if bosses are included or not. You just, you guys just go head on over. No, I said you are dismissed. You do not get to follow me on this freaking journey. It's dangerous. Let's see. Oh, my... Oh, wait. Oh, this is the only floor? Oh. My least favorite enemy at this point? The bumbling snitch bug. The guy who can pick up your captains. He is actually my least favorite enemy. It's not the toughest. It's not the most dangerous. But he is my least favorite. Really? Come on, just kill him. How about you don't kill the spiders? Okay. Well, are you kidding me? How did the red pick... There was no red Pikmin over there. That's bogus. Yeah, the Bumbling Snitch Bug is my least favorite. Karini Dirigi Bugs, the Cannon Larva, and the Gantling Groinks are second. My favorite enemy? Uh, the frogs also suck, too. Actually, pretty much every enemy in this game sucks. Like, I'm not just saying that. Every enemy in this game kind of sucks. Oh, I actually I know. My favorite enemy is actually probably the... No, no, don't blow him up. Okay, you can't... Really? You can kill the guy... Wow, alright. That's probably the most unfair thing I've ever seen. They can kill my Pikmin inside of the Jelly Float with an explosion, but the Jelly Float doesn't take any damage from the explosion. You can't have both, game. Those are mutually exclusive. You cannot have both. Yeah, I'm going to say my favorite enemy are probably the red decorated cannon beetles, because you can actually trick them into shooting themselves and other enemies with their boulders. And I'm all about that. Oh, I, oh, I see. 
I now see how it happened that one of those red Pikmins died that one time. Because they decided they're going to beat up a Dweevil. Even though it's a very stupid idea to do that. Alright, well now that we've got Louie and these Pikmin trapped inside the Jelly Float, we're going to have to kill them quickly before the stupid Dirigi bug is just like, Oh, you don't have Pikmin anymore. Now we got the Pikmin buried in the ground over there, but actually that's good. If a Pikmin's buried in the ground, then they're actually completely invincible. Come on, kill the Dweevil with a bomb. Come on! He deserves it. Like, I think a bomb rock could go off right next to the Pikmin buried, and he wouldn't take damage just because he's buried. That's because the Dirigi bugs can literally just throw grenades that can mass murder your Pikmin, and you can't really do anything about it. Yeah, if you can get a Dirigi Bug all on its own, not too bad, because when you throw Pikmin on it, he launches his Bomb Rock far enough away that it won't blow your Pikmin up if you mass swarm him. Cool. Kill the Snitch... Kill, kill the Bumbling Snitch Bug, he deserves it. That's the worst case scenario! I, like, if. Look at that! There's like eight enemies next to each other. They're all guarding each other, and even if you could kill them all, the stupid bumbling snitch bug will grab both your captains so you can't whistle your Pikmin away from the explosions in time. No wonder this is called the Abduction Den. It's literally filled to the brim with enemies that will just take your captains and be like, you can't do anything. Yeah, this is this is officially the worst designed cave in the entire game. Like, it's not even close. Like, I I don't think that the developers ever playtested this level. Or at the very least, if they did, they didn't playtest it for fun. They're not. Because I cannot imagine, imagine even a single person playing this level and being like, Hmm, yes, this is a fun level. This is a really good challenge that people will like. Are you... T there were no Pikmin there! How many Karina Dorichi debugs are on this floor? 20? There's like five bumbling snitch bugs, 20 Karina Dorichi bugs, and a, just occasionally there's a swooping snitch bug. Just, not really because they're dangerous, but just to be annoying and throw your Pikmin near the bomb rocks. Nothing to gain over here. Let's move.
And there we go. Game said no, so you can't win. If if that jelly float sucks up your Pikmin and then a Karini Dirigi bug throws a bomb near it, you are dead, and there is absolutely nothing you can possibly do. Alright, where's the stupid jelly float? Here, he's over here. Alright. This was not even on my radar, by the way, of potentially hardest challenge mode level. Okay, oh, heck no! Okay, no, 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 oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Oh, of course! Of... Of freaking course! There's always a bumbling snitch bug to grab both of your captains so you can't save your Pikmin. Yep, yeah, this this is without a doubt the worst design thing I've seen in this game. It's not even close. Like it literally feels like you can do absolutely everything right and still lose because the game just says. Pfft. Like that's that's not a good thing. If like it's fine for things to be hard, but if I if I lose in this game, I want it to feel like it was my fault. It doesn't, it has not felt like it's my fault that I've lost the game. It just feels like the level designers don't know how to design a level. Alright, where is the jelly float? He's over here. Okay, this might, okay. This could be good. I don't see any Dirigi bugs around here. I just see these stupid bumbling snitch bugs, so. Yes, kill him, kill him, swarm him. And you know what the dumbest part is? Even after you get the key, you still have to get all of your Pikmin to the geyser to break it open, or at least some of your Pikmin, which means you gotta go through the freaking Dirigi bug. Heck. Oh, look at that. Okay. You know what? This is literally a case of we just had to get lucky with a spawn, because this spawn put all of the Bumbling Snitch bugs on one part of the level and all the Dirigi bugs on the other, so they don't intertwine. This still doesn't guarantee victory, by the way. It's just, at least this makes it possible. Okay, no, no, no. Move away from the bomb rock. Break it open. Break it open before the bomb rock appears. Get out. Get the heck out. Get the heck out of this level. I am never playing that again. What the heck? What could you do to fix this floor to make it better? Start from scratch! Perfect does not describe that level. What makes you think there's gonna be an next playthrough? Part of the reason for me doing this no deaths challenge is because I'm like, I wanna beat Pikmin 2 again and I don't wanna have to. I don't wanna ever feel the need to beat Pikmin 2 again. <laughs> uh oh. 
This is the floor that I was worried about. This is the one that I've been dreading the most, the secret testing range. Two floors, ten of each type of Pikmin, one of each spray. My cakes will burn! <laughs> So this floor is, uh, kind of garbage. Ready, set, start! So as you can see in that upper left corner, we got ourselves a good old-fashioned Gatling groin. A Gatling g g g g g g g g groin. We stunned him, we stunned him. Alright, we're gonna murder him, now murder him, now murder him. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay. First floor is. Oh. There's apparently a second one around here, and he's trying to snipe us from a distance, and I don't appreciate that. Jeez, the wheeze, these guys have long range. Oh, wait, he's right over there. Wait, was that the hole back there? No, that wasn't. Okay. That's the hole right there. Alright, first floor down. First floor down. I'll be, I'll be honest, I thought that first sub-level was going to be a little tougher than that, but we maybe lucked out of it. And here we go, sub-level 2 of the secret testing range. Yep, it's rematch time against Mr. Man at Legs. And of course he's surrounded by water, so you can only use blue Pikmin, and we only have, I believe, 10 of them. So, yeah. That'll be fun. First things first, we're taking out this electric fence before some Pikmin decides he wants to play in it. I might have to reset a bunch, although I do now have a solid strategy against the man at legs. So I don't fear him as much as I used to. But, like, I mean, he's still gonna be tough. Alright. Go behind the wall. Actually, no, wait, no, 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 just get away. At least they don't give make you fight the man at legs with Gatling groins around. That would be too much. Okay, uh, the, please don't move. That's not great at all. Uh oh. I knew this guy could move. I was, I knew I wasn't crazy. I suppose this is a part where I could bring out my other Pikmin as well, but I'm afraid he's going to walk closer to that water. But if he gets much closer, we could be in trouble. And we are, I just want to point out, we are still on a time limit. Oh, no, 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 no. Anytime he shakes off, he's going to bring out the Gatling gun. Oh, that last, that last dungeon we did was by far my least favorite floor in challenge mode. Okay, this is working. It's slow, but it's working. He always goes in volleys of free machine gun blasts, so even if he takes a pause after his second one, that third one will be coming. This boss is a lot more consistent than I remember. <laughs> Louie is gonna go blind, by the way. Those shots are hitting right in front of his face. In pillars of red lasers. <laughs> uh, 
That was a very scary third volley there, son. Thank goodness they give us a lot of time for this. This is one of the coolest bosses in the game. Like a, a mechanical spider that's armed with a machine gun. It's really sweet. <laughs> and actually, he's not nearly as difficult as I gave him credit for, if you know how to do him. Trust me, this fight is a lot more hectic and difficult to get out unscathed if you don't know how to control his moving around and firing patterns. And you basically are just running around hoping that his Gatling gun doesn't hit you. Oh, wow! All right! The floor I was... The cave that I was dreading the most it actually turned out to be not too bad, as long as you guys don't be stupid and bring it for the electric fans. I'm not going to say it's smooth sailing from here, because there are still two levels that I can remember that are really bad. Louis. Yeah, that... That made up for the last level. See, that 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 cave is hard for the right reasons. It's difficult, but it's fair. That last one was just like, yeah, this is not fair or fun in any way. Perfect. You definitely can get a better time than I did on that. I was still a bit, a bit too much of a chicken and only had my blue Pikmin fight. All right, we just got five levels left. We can do them all this stream. We're doing them all this stream. We're starting with the Breeding Ground. We got four red Pikmin, two Bitter Sprays, three Spicy Sprays, three Floors. Given the name Breeding Ground, I'm guessing there will be a lot of those rainbow flowers that we can create new Pikmin from. Oh, sure enough, look at all those rainbow flowers. Oh, hi. Hi there, friend. I want to make sure I have... Oh, hi, friend! Excuse me, for just a teensy little second, I would love to create some yellow pig... Oh, of course the flower closed. I'm going to just, you know, wait for you to duck back in the ground before I pluck them, Pikmin. I said I'm going to wait for you to duck into the ground before I pluck those Pikmin. That's your cue to go back into the ground. Oh, wait, the key's just heading... Really? If I... Huh... Now, if I head to the next floor while some Pikmin are still buried in the ground here, will I lose those Pikmin, or will they pluck themselves? I genuinely don't know. Excuse me, dude, it's time for you to go back underground. Your friend went underground. Why can't you? There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Will you come with me? Because we need to pluck quickly. Okay, the blue Pikmin we can pluck easily. No, oh, no! Louie! What are you doing?! Are you the stupidest person on the planet? Do you have a brain the size of a pea? Why would you do that, you freaking dolt? Are you trying to get us killed? He literally just freaking marched across the map. Trying to get the Pikmin murdered. Okay, Bowie, look, man. Oh my gosh, I waited so long these guys turned to Bud Pikmin. Okay. Get off of him. 
I cannot believe none of my Pikmin died to that. Oh my gosh, there's another flower over there. Oh my gosh, why are we out of time? I didn't even get as many Pikmin as I needed. Well, I sure as cuss hope we don't need more Pikmin than that. What did Louie do? Louie blatantly marched across, on his own, marched past the Creeping Chrysanthemum to try to pluck Pikmin next to the Creeping Chrysanthemum so he could eat them. He was literally said, bon appetit. Help yourself. Pig out. Have a Pikmin buffet. Okay, at least there's a lot of... Okay. Okay. Let's take this guy out. He definitely has the key. He didn't have the key? What? I can't believe it. What did Porky do? Porky did something unfathomably stupid. Okay, I guess I'm getting yellow Pikmin then, even though I definitely wanted red. Louie, where did you go? So what is with that thing that- oh, I'm like, why does something apparently have a sliver of health? Excuse me, Red Pikmin, we work for our food around here. Where's Louie? Is he sleeping inside? Where's Louie? Did he go for a ride? Is he in the countryside? Oh wait, I don't need to break that gate open. Alright, we're getting a lot of Pikmin now. Where in the world is Louis San Diego? Probably on PNF 404. Also, is this the only time in the entire game that I've had Bulb Pikmin? You can only get Bulb Pikmin if you leave them buried in the ground for a while. Freaking Louie. Alright, I want to get more red Pikmin. Because red Pikmin make the best fighters, and I have a feeling we're gonna have to FIGHT! I know purple Pikmin technically make the best fighters, but that wasn't the key either. Where's the key? Is that the key through here? Oh, there it is. May as well get as many Pikmin as I can. Okay, 76. If we can't do it with 76, then... I don't deserve to be called a Pikmin expert. I don't even consider myself a Pikmin expert. I just, oh, really? None of you could get off your lazy butts, move two inches to pick up the key. I bet you the key unlocks a, a hole that'll be right behind this gate. I just bet you. Is that? Oh my gosh, how did I know? There we go, delve deeper. <laughs> Lazy and suicidal. It's sad, those things kind of go... 
Well, no, I probably shouldn't say that. Twitch might get me banned. Alright, now we got a water level and I only have 18 water Pikmin. So, oh, never mind, there's a lot of fire here too. Honestly, if Twitch banned me, I probably wouldn't even care. I'd just be like, alright, guess we're doing YouTube streams. What? YouTube banned me too? Guess we're doing Rumble streams. <laughs> what? I got banned from every streaming service available? Guess that's a sign from God that I should stop streaming. <laughs> keep forgetting that Olmar and Louie are not fire invincible in challenge mode. Okay, you've been spamming that fire breath more times than you phys physically should be able to. Okay, just get off your butts. Why are all my Pikmin so weak? Why are my captains so weak, too? Oh, great. Okay. Well, I guess it could still be over here if the blowhog drops the key. Oh, I bet it's just because I don't have flower Pikmin, and that's why they're so weak. Because Pikmin actually do get stronger if they have flowers on top of them instead of leaves. Oh, that's an electric fence. No! Get away from the electric fence, you stupid blue Pikmin. What is with Blue Pikmin being hyper, hyperly suicidal when it comes to attacking gates that are not their prerogative? First there was the poison gates, and now it's like... The, the poison gates were one thing, man. Electric fences are instant death. Oh, he didn't even have the key anyways. Great. Well, I, I got news for you. I'll have to stop streaming eventually. Because we can only live so long as sinful beings, you and I. It's like 98-year-old Artie. Guys, I was gonna play a game for my childhood. It's Mickey Mouse 1, 2, 3 birthday surprise party. <laughs> this was made back when operating systems were entirely text-based. Oh, is the key gonna be down here? No, it's not. Okay, where the where the cuss is the key then? Yes, it's, by process of elimination, it's gotta be this way. <laughs> you got gardening to do? Very nice. A very a very good hobby. Where you quite literally can reap the fruits of your labor. When I get my own house, I'm gonna do gardening as well. Grow fruits and veggies that I like. I have 76 Pikmin. Why are these blowhogs being so difficult to kill? Okay. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Literally the last possible blowhog that I killed dropped it. Don't march right into the fire geyser, you moron! Are you trying to bring that key through as many hazards as possible? Because it sure seems like it. Wow, they are so slow at killing things. 76 Pikmin on one fire geyser. Took them like four seconds to take it out. Really? Bring it over here. Bring it over here. Stop eating potato chips. Stop watching the TV. Do something productive. I'm saying that to me just as much as I'm saying it to other people. Mainly my Pikmin. Ah, yes! Here we go! Yellow Taffeta! Okay, that was a really, really weird challenge mode cave, but I guess we get to go. <laughs> Whee! Ooh la la. 
Perfect. Oh, yeah. All right, we just got four left. Next up, the Cave of Pain. Well, gee, this just sounds lovely. 50 red Pikmin, one of each spray. Only one floor, though. Cool. We can do this. Then again, the last time we had a level, a one sub-level cave, it ended up being the worst cave in the game. And it is called the Cave of Pain. Oh, no, it's the same type. I actually really like the snowy background, but... Yeah, there's not going to be a Pikmin 2 stream next week. I'll probably do a randomizer next weekend instead. While I think of my next big, uh... Weekly, uh, weekend stream series. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, we got... We got that! Oh, I see. Sure. No, 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 no! I got a Pikmin up there! <laughs> I can't believe it! Just carry- why would you just carry that back to base? I can't believe I got a Pikmin up there and avoided the bomb rocks and avoided the regular rocks. Hey! That is mine! You don't get that! No, no! No, that is my key. There's a nice juicy marble up there that you can- you can grab. We come in peace, Anno Dweebles. We mean you no harm. Okay. Maybe we mean you some- OH WHAT THE BUTTS! You can't do that. You can't just drop an awake fat guy on my head. It's very rude. You're lucky I had a bitter spray. <laughs> Alright, well... That could have gone badly, but it actually was pretty simple. <laughs> The game had to rely on dropping unfair obstacles on my head, but I... Yeah. We still beat it! Perfect. Got three levels left. Two of them I know what they are, and they're gonna be... Experiences. So the next one is... The Bully Den. I remember this one. 25 purples, two of each spray, one floor. Probably the most famous cave in challenge mode. Oh, the Bully Den. You're gonna see why. So look at this lab twisted labyrinth. We got 25 of the slowest Pikmin in a fairly decently sized maze. Ready, set, learn. Final floor, all right, well, let's start breaking open the gates. So we have 300 seconds, which is nice. What is not nice is what we're going to encounter in here. So we got the usual, the volatile dweebles. Because of course we do. Break open the gate. Also, depending on how tomorrow goes, I might stream Paper Mario Randomizer tomorrow, because I'm itching to play that. But we'll have to see what my mood is, if I want to spend a huge amount of the weekend streaming, or if I want to do something else. I might want to do something else. I'll keep people posted. Come on. Here it is! Water Rafe time! No! Oh, he killed one of my guys! Ah! Yep, so it, it's a rematch against the Water Wraith in the Bully Den. And it can be tough, because you have to fight him in cramped quarters. Alright, well, I'll think about it. I am itching to play the Randomizer for sure, but... I also probably should do more stuff this weekend than just stream. Okay, that's a weird gate. Why would you put this... Uh, okay. Seems strange. And yes, in case you were wondering, the Water Wraith has the key. So, we literally cannot grab the key until the Water Wraith appears, apparently 30 seconds in. 
In the meantime, I'm just going to bust down the gates, in case one of these gates leads to the place where the uh, escape is. Dang, you're rolling in the Artie Bucks. If only Artie Bucks could be used in real life. But unfortunately, I've tried, but uh, they don't. most places don't accept that as valid currency. Okay. Oh, did I say rematch against the Water Wraith? Actually, no, there are two Water Wraiths on this level. Way. They see me rolling. They hating. Alright, he's gonna go that way, that's fine. We'll deal with the water wave up here. Oh no, Anno Dweedle. Or Anno Dweevil. Anno Beetle. Let's just kill the Anno Beetle first so that he don't electrocute us. Hit his butt. Alright, the other guy's coming this way, alright. Ah, no! Okay, I don't like it when the two team up. So what I want to do is I want just one of the water wraiths to come back over here. Because if they're both in the same room, that's not going to be good. So that's good. So one of them is actually just flat out dead now. Wait, what? How did he crush me if he was paralyzed? That's the annoying thing. If both of the water wraiths get right next to each other, they basically never separate, and they become incredibly difficult to take down without deaths. Yeah. But again, I would still say this is kind of a good... Uh, the good kind of hard. And yeah, now you can see why this level is so infamous. The Water Wraith is infamous in this game for being terrifying. Here's the thing. I have never found the Water Wraith scary. Even in the slightest. Like, I know a lot of the suspense of like, oh my god, she's around the corner. Like, the fact that he is invincible and can just murder your Pikmin. Yeah, that's pretty scary. But like, the actual appearance of the Water Wraith is like one of the least threatening things I have ever seen in my life. It, it's literally just a blob of water. Like, what's scary about that? It's Water Wraith. With a TH at the end. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's a dead end. Not Water Rave. Water Rave is the remix of, of his battle theme. Not even when I was a kid. Nope. Water Wraith has never freaked me out. Ah, what the... Are you... Are you serious? He landed right on top of my Pikmin. And he did it at such a time... The shadows didn't appear until they it was too late! What the heck? No, Wraith. W-R-A-I-T-H. Wraith. Wow. What's this? What is, like, the scariest fiend in a video game? Like, any video game? I'm gonna have to think about that one. I mean, the Shadow Temple from Ocarina of Time is pretty doggone freaky. But I'm definitely used to it now, so I don't find it freaky anymore. Hmm... Oh, yeah. Never scared by the piano in Mario 64. Never. I always thought the piano was cool. Alright, here you are. Yeah. I never got freaked out by the piano in Mario 64, and I never got freaked out by Wet Dry World in Mario 64, either. 
in Mario 64, the two things that kind of freak really another one. The two things that kind of freaked me out in Mario 64 was the the uh, eel in Jolly Roger Bay and the chain chop. All right. Okay, that's not good. You're not. You. No one invited you to this party. He's gone. He can't do anything now, so... so... Now we can focus purely on the other one. Also, only one of the water waves actually has the key. The other one just has a generic treasure. But not just any generic treasure, Robin. He has the creepy baby head from the Cavern of Chaos. No. No. No! Are you freaking serious? Okay, Redeads and Dead Hand never creeped me out. The Redeads just looked like coconut monsters who hugged you, and Redead, the Dead Hand always just reminded me of Roz from Monsters Inc. So they were not the creepy parts. The creepy part was the ambiance and all the blood. And the literal blood-soaked crucifix in the middle of the bottom of the well. That yeah, was kind of freaky. And the walls chanting, like, Shadow Temple, here is Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. Like, that's messed up. I was doing so well, and that stupid... That one water wraith got unstunned way faster than usual, flamed just one of the Pikmin off, like, barely in front of him just so he could crush him while paralyzed. If you're paralyzed with fright, you shouldn't be able to murder a Pikmin. Just throwing that out there. I knew this one was going to be tough. Alright, now hopefully one of them won't appear and just fall right on top of me. Here's what, oh, so they both appear right here. How about? Thank you. Okay, that was. Sometimes they get stunned, and sometimes they don't. Um... It, um... I don't remember inviting you into this tiny little corner. Okay, that time the floor was 100% unfair. They both spawned in the same area and both immediately went a beeline through this dead end that I was in. Like, this is a giant level. Do they have to spawn right next to each other every single time? You can't beat them both, no deaths, reliably, if they're right next to each other. You just can't. Ah, yes, Kingdom Hearts 20th... I remember when it was the 10th anniversary of Kingdom Hearts, because that, that was the year that Dream Drop Distance came out. It doesn't feel like it was that long ago, but I guess it really was. I think what's most annoying about this floor is just, if you lose, you lose a decent amount of time, because you've got to wait 30 in-game seconds, which are, by the way, slower than real-life seconds. As you can see, it's ticking down at a much slower rate than regular seconds. It's actually, like, more like a minute, almost. Just to wait for the water waves to appear. And even then, if the water waves just decide to be butts, and appear at the exact same place, well, then... sucks to be you. And I have no idea where they're going to spawn. So one spawn there. 
Oh, hey, is he by himself? Oh yeah, you guys. Okay, let's kill the anode beetles first. That is not a good pose to be in, Mr. Water Wraith. So the only thing is, like, you can bitter spray the water wraith, but it doesn't let you actually attack him. It just basically stops him for a bit. All right. More anode beetles, really? Okay, no, 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 no. I will. N oh, there's three of them. Yeah, why not? Oh, and the water wave doesn't even roll them over. If that was any other enemy, they would be dead, but nope. Water wave doesn't even care about that. No, stop playing with electricity, you morons! No, he's gonna freaking kill the guy again, and of course I got stunned, so I can't do anything about it. You know, it really just feels like sometimes the game just says, no, you lose, there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> like that one floor that we did, the abduction cave. But like right there, the reason that Pikmin died is be is literally just because I randomly got stunned right before he did that attack. He already has spawned right on top of me. Also, why do those anode beetles never, ever, ever spawn until they spawn and you're trying to kill them and... It really feels like Pikmin 2 is designed to be as, like, just unfairly difficult as possible. No, I haven't. This is only, like, my fourth reset. The abduction done, I reset, like, 12 times. I'm not sorry for Abducted Den. Abducted Den was objectively the worst course ever. This is not the worst course ever. It's definitely annoying. Okay, so there's one there. Okay, so they're actually kind of far apart. Um, yeah, thanks for tossing a purple Pikmin when I told you to. Okay, new plan. We're not going right in front of him when he's stunned like this. We're hitting him in the butt. Oh look, anode beetles, because why not? Okay, really? This this is a little much. Well, that's weird. He crushed the anode beetle that time, but not any of the other times. He's, he's stuck. Oh, no, no, no. Doggone, if, did he freaking go in front of the steamroller again? Apparently not, but I don't know why the heck he didn't get stunned again. I literally threw, like, all of my Pikmin at him, and he didn't get stunned, even though he was in his watery state. Yes, the other water wraith is being stupid and getting stuck in the dead end, which I like that. Okay. Yeah, like, look at that. Sometimes he can just stun you and be like, nope, you're dead. If any of my Pikmin were up there, then it would have been Coitance for Rocky. 
of me wonders if should I just finish him off? If this is the one that holds the key, then it could be a decent idea to finish him off now. Uh oh. Nope. I have Leaf Pikmin, and there are freaking volatile weevils that way. I hope this is the one that has the key. That would be very nice. Uh oh. Okay, here's the other one coming. I don't trust that other one. He's gonna wait for just the right time to strike. No, 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 no. I'm so terrified of this guy, because he can just stun you and then kill you. It's like, it's random how long he stays stunned for. Like, sometimes you can get in a ton of damage, and sometimes he's just like, nope, bye. I'm just gonna, yeah. I had a feeling he was almost done with his stun. There we go. We should be in the clear now, unless the Anno uh, Beetles are really annoying. Which they very well could be, or if the game glitches and knocks a Pikmin out of bounds, or if I guess a Volatile Weevil appears. Oh my gosh. All my guys are losing their flowers, though, which is really sucky. Alright, what are you leaving behind? Are you leaving the key or the silencer? You're leaving the silencer. Alright. Let's kill the other one, then. No! No! You do not get to launch my Pikmin into an electric attack. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be freaking kidding me. I am taking zero chances with that. And then they just decided on, you know, even though he's never ever appeared on any of the other attempts of this level, you know, get away from the freaking electricity, you, you stupid moron! You are not going to ruin this for me! Good lord, if I had a freaking penny for every time a Pikmin went out of his way to try and get, kill himself, I'd be richer than Jeff Bezos. I forget every, every Pikmin 2 stream, like every Pikmin 2 video that I do. Okay, now where did the exit appear? I actually was not paying attention. You know what? I do not even trust my stupid Leaf Pikmin to be able to get out of the way if something like, say, a Volatile Dweevil appears. So, goodbye Leaf Pikmin. I, you are a massive liability. I am not even going to deal with you. Because it's not up there. No, no, the frog that appeared is actually nastier than the yellow frog. Um, wait, where is the freaking exit? Oh, it's over here. Good, one more opportunity for my guys to be stupid and get electrocuted. How many times did my purple Pikmin purposefully try to get electrocuted by those beetles, by the way? Well, bo there's the bully den. Yep, I was definitely worried about that one, but we just have two levels left. Perfect! Yeah, let's just ignore how awful that level is. Yeah, the, the yellow Wallywogs are actually not as bad as the gray Wallywogs. The gray Wallywogs have way more range. 
All right, sniper room. This one's not fun either. 30 yellows, 20 purples, one of each spray. At least, again, one only one floor, but... Well, we know what happened with the boy dead. The sniper room's not fun. I think there's a, it's another one of those levels where there's a Gatling growing on a siege tower. It's going to pick you off from a distance. Oh, yeah. It's definitely that, actually. I remember this one. Mmm. Oh, wait, maybe it's... No. You almost killed yourself. Alright, well... I don't know why he shot it there and not right at the coin, which is where he was aiming. But alright, sure. Well, I thought the sniper was going to be a Gatling Groink, but it actually might be Armored Cannon Larva, which are also super annoying. But at least they can't throw me off a bottomless pit this time. Oh, hey, it's, it's Big Burfa! Let's give Bur Big Burfa a warm welcome. Ah, oh, it's good to have Purple Pikmin. Actually, wait, no. Big Burfa is the pregnant empress. Get it, Big Burf. Because uh, <laughs> she's constantly giving birth. Oh yeah, so uh, remember when I said that there w I thought there was a Gatling Groink in a uh, siege tower position? Yep! I was right! Might have to dig. Okay, well, here we go. So there's annoying enemies, but plenty. But I'm guessing it's going to be the Groink that's got the key. So, let's focus on him. He's going to be on a giant bucket. Okay, so he's going to be over there. Going to separate them out, because I'm pretty sure you can only hit them with the yellows, because they're super high up. It's our Tillafish. Everyone's favorite. On it. It's the it's the double whammy. You've got the little guys and you've got the Gatling Groink. Get out of the way! For goodness sakes. Oh, this is not going to be easy or fun. Is this going to be yet another level where I have to rely on the Gatling Groink not firing kill shots? Where did my other yellow go? Wait, how did I get him back? Are you serious? Just... okay? Just don't suck. Rule number one of Artie's army. You're not allowed to suck. Yeah, this is another level where I have to rely on the Gatling Groin just being nice and not firing kill shots. Hey, it's a good thing we got hundreds of seconds. Down with our Tillafish. He's not even halfway done with his freaking HP. I have no idea how my burp reached all the way up there, but I won't complain, because that's the only way we're taking this guy down. <laughs> he didn't even have the key! What a jip. Oh! Great. Actually, no. That's do- No! 
See? We got my favorite enemy, the decorated cannon beetle. And he is actually going to help us out, because he's a pal. He's going to help us defeat Big Burfo over there. Alright, good job. Alright. We gotta hide our guys. Now, here's the thing. Can I get this guy to shoot at me? Without waking up Big Bertha. Or does this guy have too short an intention span? Shoot at me. Come on, shoot at me. Shoot Big Bertha. Shoot Big Bertha! Do it again. Wow, Big Bertha didn't even wake up! That's heading over for my Pikmin! Wow, Big Bertha just took a cannonball to the back. Just like, oh, I must have just been part of my dream. Okay. Stun, stun, stun! Still no key, though. Oh, wait, the key's right there. How about maybe don't have the purple guy carry it? What are you doing? Could you have done a stupider move? You literally carried the key right into the guy's mouth! Why did you do that? You literally went out of your way to do that! That wasn't even close to being the direction towards the ship pod. That was the direct opposite way that you did just to get eaten so I have to kill the galling Greek again. I might blow a gasket. That was the stupidest thing I've ever seen a Pikmin do in my entire life. They literally deliberately went out of their way as far away from the ship pod as possible, breaking their own AI just so they would get eaten. Hit him. You have auto homing. They can walk up rocks on that side too. I'm sorry, but yes, I am losing it, because that was the stupidest thing I've ever seen in a video game. As far as AI is concerned. Actually, no, it's not. I've seen Mario Party, where I'm just like, did, did Wario seriously just spend 15 coins on a dueling glove just so he could duel for one coin? Why, yes, he did. Alright, well, let's, let's just all calm down. This is the second to last level, so obviously tensions are a little high. Hey, dude. Oh, that wasn't enough to kill him. I thought it would be. That might be bad. Actually, yeah, if you want to keep firing right at the pail... I had to shovel. Uh oh. You see, like, he's not firing kill shots, and that's the only reason that we're surviving this long. No, keep, keep hitting him, keep hitting him, keep hitting him. Beautiful. Now, to carry him back, carry his corpse back. Carry his corpse back. Think you can do that? Thank you for ignoring the marble. I actually genuinely do appreciate that. We can't have Gatling Groin coming back to life. That's not gonna happen. Louis. I don't think it's wasting 50 coins to steal a star. A star is very nice. No, he, he spent 15 coins so he could have the opportunity to take one coin. I've seen that in a Mario Party video that somebody made. I'm just like, did he really do that? Okay. Big Burfa we're gonna have to go around for. There should be a way to loop back. Right. Oh, yeah! Because that's exactly what I was waiting for. I'm like, you know what? 
This level's been pretty nice to me. I wonder what could make this level worse. Oh, of course, Kareen and Dirigibugs, yes. Is there another Gatling Grunk on that pail as well? There better not be good. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's horrid. I'm gonna stay as far on the outside. Oh, great! I have to have my Pikmin bring it through. Okay. Really? It would have been interesting to try to remote control him up the pail, but I feel like that would have taken too much time. Alright. How do we deal with that stupid armored cannon beetle? That's the question. Armored cannon beetle on the pail. We can't walk up the shovel. It's too big. Mm -mm. Oh, I know what we do! Well, I feel like this is going to backfire massively. But one thing we could do... Well, I got an idea. <clears throat> Dismissed. Just want three of you. I just want three of you. None of you can be Leaf. If I give you guys a spicy spray, can you carry the key past this guy so he won't snipe you? I think you might be able to, because Yellow Pikmin are pretty fast. There you go. Carry that back to base. That's a little on the slow side, but you know what? It's our best bet. He's not spawning. We probably didn't even need the spicy spray for it, but you know what? We're at the end of the level, and I don't need it for anything else. <laughs> Wario's canonically smooth-brained. Yeah, I don't argue with that. There you go. Bring that here. I, I know I'm surrounded by fabulous treasures. I don't care, really. I just want this to be done. Alright, where is that at? Okay, where is that? Oh, it's that that over here? Yay, there it is. Okay, that room sucked. Let's not do that again. Let us exit this challenge level. Yeah, I would have been done with the level a few minutes ago if they had not been colossally, phenomenally stupid. But it's okay, we got there in the end. Yay! Perfect. No, it wasn't. But it was good enough. Oh yeah, I'll be I'll be glad to be done with this. Alright, folks. We got the grand finale. Last level. It's the Emperor's Realm. 20 reds, 20 blues, 10 purples, two of each spray, five floors. This one will probably take some resets. This is not a fun one. So this is five floors that each progressively get a bit harder. I don't think this this level, if memory serves, I don't think it's like stupidly difficult. I think it's just legitimately difficult. So I think it is a good finale. We'll see if I keep thinking that by the end of this. All right. It's a simple red bull orb. Very simple. Easy. Oof. Choked on a marble. That's not fun. Ah, and we get the Bulwax Kingdom music again, which is great. Booyah. 
back to base, please, and thank you, God bless. So the first floor should be pretty easy. Like I said, it starts out fairly easy, but then the floors get progressively harder. <laughs> that guy only just now gave up the ghost, because he wasn't loaded in. You assume we're going to have to refight the Empress of Bullblocks again? That is a good prediction. As a matter of fact, yes, we will have to fight Empress Bullblax again. Although I can't remember if it's the Empress with the babies or not. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we had fun recording that. I don't think it's as good as our Candyland April Fool's Day Let's Play we did last year, but it's still pretty good. We already, we, I already know what we're playing next year. Trust me, I have a very long list of a potential April Fool's Let's Plays, so I'm not really taking requests for that. So next we've got... Ah, yes. This, though... What is with the Blue Pikmin being obsessed with being thrown into hazards that they're not supposed to go into? Okay. He wants to come in. Oh, look! My guys refused to inflict damage on them while they were chewing. Yeah, so that's a floor you're going to want to use a bitter spray on, because a bull bear can't really be killed without one. Yep, every April Fool's Day we do a secret one-off. That's exact. Well, not every year. One year I did something by my own. Oh. Hi. I hate this dead end thing right here. It's, it's so bad. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Beautiful. Well, I'm glad he spawned so close by. It's almost like they knew I had died and needed a quick reset. Um, I mean, so the game that I played, <laughs> it's one of my most viewed videos on my channel, which is really dumb. I call, I literally called it Hardest Game Ever Made, Winnie the Pooh Preschool. I think it's, it's like my third or fourth most viewed video, because of course it is. All right. This time, we're going to see if we can spice, uh, bitter spray all the bull bears. And this time, blue Pikmin ain't gonna be stupid, right? We're gonna let the red Pikmin take out the geysers. Alright, here comes the bull bear! Maybe not. He only has one baby with him today. Oh, Maybe if you if we can get him to turn away, maybe we can nope, he's he's target well on. Yeah, just kill him. Give me that key. boop -de doop 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 Yeah, my most viewed video is my very first Backyard Baseball stream, which crashed midway, and I literally don't even have all the footage for, so... Whoops. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys behind. Don't do anything stupid in the two seconds that it takes for me to walk over here. Huh? Wait! Wait! Too late! <laughs> shit -sha. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's available, but <laughs> again. <laughs> All right. What lies here again? Is this going to be one with some bulbmen? No, I, no, we don't get bulbmen here. Oh, of course, it's fiery bulblax. My, my silly of me. Okay. We also have these flowers here. I don't want yellow Pikmin. Yellow Pikmin are not going to help me out at all. I want more red Pikmin. Because I need fighters. Especially with, uh, Fiery Bullblax. Here. No, no, no! 
I am really glad the red Pikmin went in, because if I had lost one of my precious purples, that would have been bad. Purple Pikmin are more than worth their weight in gold. Man, I, I missed the buck phone though. The nice thing is, we don't need a bitter spray after this floor, if memory serves. So we can use our bitter spray on the fiery bolt wax. This is sub level three. I know what awaits us on sub levels four and five, and I don't think we'll need a bitter spray for it. However, we will want a spicy spray for one of those floors. All right. Separate our pigment out. Let's grab all of our reds. We got quite a few of them now. That includes you, Kevin. Oh no, he's in the water. Crab apples. So I actually should have gotten more blue pigment. Yay. Okay. Well, this kind of sucks. Get out of... That was dumb. Really, the, the one Pikmin was drowning in like a, an eighth of a centimeter of water was completely frozen, and then the guy just instantaneously ate him. Cool. Sure. That is just fine. I definitely don't have any objections to that happening. How are you supposed to kill an Emperor Bullblax if he's on an island? Can we have Harry Guy over here? Okay, well, we can have Harry Guy over there, so that, that's just as fine, for sure. Alright, Harry Guy. Oh, come on! I didn't do anything! Why didn't you get stunned? So, I either need to have a way of getting my red Pikmin on that freaking island by getting them across the water, which I don't see happening, or I need to lure him into the water and kill him with blue pigmen, or I need to lure him just away from the water, onto a large body of land, and kill him that way. Either way, if you don't have a bitter spray, you can better believe you're not going to kill him. This is part of the reason why I like how Pikmin Free did away with bitter sprays and instead just made the enemies possible to beat without bitter sprays reliably. Because there are definitely enemies in this game where it's like, oh yeah, there is no reliable strat to kill him, you need bitter spray. Oh, you don't have bitter spray? Oh, well then I guess you're not killing fiery bull blacks. Um, can my purple Pikmin actually do- Really? My pur are you kidding me? My purple Pikmin, again, I said, Hey, purple Pikmin, go right next to me so I can rapid fire you, and only one did, and the other stayed as far away from me as possible. I- I'll be so happy once we're done with this and I can just put Pikmin 2 away, because doggone it, these Pikmin are so unbelievably stupid, it hurts my own brain. Like, this is literally supposed to be... In a game where you have to command guys to follow your every command, they need to follow your commands. If you command them to do something and they don't do it, that's not fun. Oh, it makes it more realistic. I, you know, we don't want realism in our video games. We want to have fun in our video games, you know? I don't play Mario 64 because it's realistic. The fact that it's not realistic is part of the reason why I enjoy it so much. Oh, sure. Move your back to here. Sure. No, 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 that's fine. I'll kill you anyways. Just bring that back. 
I am I am alone out of patience for these stupid Pikmin. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely suffering from Pikmin 2 burnout. No doubt to that, eh? But again, we just have one final challenge in our way, and we can put this game away forever. Oh lord, the Emperor's Realm. And you know, the worst part is, like, because of how hard this is, Remember, this is five floors, so you can still... Okay, no. Get back here. Fine. Oh yeah, this is Bull Bear floor. He's accompanied by both of his stooges. It's all three of the stooges. Humba diddly bumba diddly humba diddly bumba diddly hum. All right, sub level three. Can we please not have Emperor Bullblack or Fiery Bullblack spawn on a freaking island? Or are you going to do that every single time? Yep, you're going to do that every single time. Sure. Yep, fair. Definitely fair. Definitely fun. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, for this one. We're gonna we're gonna create more blue Pikmin. I'm gonna use blue Pikmin. With a bitter spray, they should still be able to kill it. And this gives me the flexibility to attack him not on his face and immediately get eaten. You wouldn't think you'd have to do that. you'd have to specify that, but no, apparently you do. How is how is this playing this game by the way? I just want to point this out. Playing this game is more stressful than me taking my exam earlier today. Not joking. No, it, this is seriously a more stressful experience than taking my exam. That, you, you, congratulations, Nintendo. You made a game that is actually more stressful than exams. Like, that takes real talent. But not the good kind of talent. It's like the kind of talent that you're ashamed of. Um, I don't see how any Let's Play is going to be more stressful than this. Okay. This is going to be tough, but we can do it. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to toss a blue Pikmin on here. He's going to catch fire. We're going to whistle him away. Wait for this guy to move into the water. Boom. Bitter spray. Rapid throw. And this will destroy him. Give us the key. Beautiful. There we go. That's how it's done. Why is it still playing the boss music? We killed the boss. Just get rid of it. The purple pigment are so bad at staying in a group. Right, I want to see what's in this egg. I would really like to have all of my red Pikmin flowered. Oh, it's beautiful. 
Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. Yes. I don't care if my blue Pikmin are flowered or not. I just wanted my red Pikmin flowered. I have probably reached triple digit resets now. Yep. Emperor's Realm sub-level 4. And uh, yep. It's time for Empress again. And I can't remember if she gives birth. So I'm going to just keep an ear out. Great. Okay. Yep. It's the pregnant one. That's actually quite bad. The reason this is bad is because I don't have the Metal Suit Z upgrade. Which means Olmar is actually going to take a decent amount of damage. Yeah, as you can see, Omar has already lost a huge amount of health. So this is the real big Bertha. Thankfully, now we can get her just in a, pa in a loop of this. We don't even need a spicy spray. We're going to take our time. Because we have time. Yeah, without the Metal Suit Z upgrade, your captains are going to take a lot of damage from the babies. So you got to really be on it to not have too many babies come out of the Bajingo. <laughs> this is by far the grossest boss in the game, but it's a very unique one. <laughs> got to give it to the developers. This is a unique boss. A boss that's threatening because she's constantly giving birth. <laughs> Very original. This is the last level, but there's still one sub-level after this. This is this is the fourth sub-level, and there are five sub-levels. She's got a tiny bit of HP left. There we go. Not too bad. If there's one boss in the game that was easier than expected, it was actually this one. I was so terrified of this boss on a no-deaths run. Blah. Wave of babies. Sub-level 5? I have to remember what sub-level 5 is like. I know at least one thing that's on sub-level 5, I just can't remember exactly how it's laid out. All right, here we go. The last four of the last challenge of the last vein in Pikmin 2. Yeah, yep. Okay. So this... It's time for the Emperor himself. But here's the thing. We got spicy sprays. Jeez, that scared me. Why was that so much louder than it usually is? Okay. Now, here's the thing. Mm. Okay. How do we want to do this? These bomb rocks are making me paranoid. Because if my Pikmin decide to be stupid... I also don't know which Emperor Bulblax has the key. So, I'm gonna crack open a few of these. Gonna, I'm gonna break the bomb rocks that are near this one. Okay, I did not want to spawn him. Okay, I need you to go back into the dirt, actually, because that's gonna ruin my plan. 
Welcome, some person. How are you doing? We are on the absolute final challenge left in Pikmin 2. Did he just eat a bomb rock of his own volition? Without even being prompted? He freaking did! I did not even lure him over there. He chose that path. Beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him. Okay. Still got no deaths. I don't like how that guy's moving closer. Of course it was a coin. Oh, how many of them are there? There are three of them. There are three of them. Oh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to make him eat the bomb rock. No. Please be the key, please be the key. That's the key. Oh my gosh, it's the key. It's the key. Okay. Just carry it gently. Don't go over there. Don't wake up daddy. Don't wake daddy. He's not in a good mood. Oh my gosh. Just get the key. We don't want to have to deal with the bull wax in the water. Missed. I don't want any of you fall. Oh wait, I need I need you following me because it's the last floor. Fine, you can follow me, but you gotta be careful. No stupidity is tolerated. They're still alive. They're on fire, but they're still alive. Get out of here as soon as they finish destroying. They're like, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna burn myself alive! That's a good idea, Lurp Perfect. Oh my gosh. We did it. We did it. Oh my gosh, we did it. All purples. All this for a loaf of bread? You know what's the most exciting <sighs> thing about winning? When you win. I love that feeling. Oh my gosh, we did it. We did all of story mode and all of challenge mode without any deaths. There we go. But we still... You find... Yes. Fatal mistake. If you... <laughs> it's easy if you can eat all the treasures. No, you don't. Alright, now let's go to bonuses. And... For completing all of challenge mode, getting all pink flowers, we unlock a new movie, Louis' Dark Secret. Let's watch, shall we? Louis' Dark Secret. The president entrusted Louis with the golden pick pick carrots. But Louis couldn't suppress his powerful hunger. And he ate every last one. Then he falsified his report to the president. Which led to Hakatate Freight accruing an insurmountable debt. Yep, the entire plot of this game happened because Louis lied. And ate. <laughs> Louis ate this massive supply of gold and pick pick carrots, which literally led us to our like 10,000 poco debt, which 100 pocos is more than a year's salary, by the way. So that was lit it's literally like Louis just ate a bunch of uranium, and then he's like, oh, it was a rabbit who did it. It's like, mm hmm. Sure. Yep. So, yes. The entire game was Louis's fault. Louis caused the entire game to start, and it's implied that Louis was actually the final boss. So, yeah. My f after playing this, my theory for Pikmin 3 was that Louis was going to be the main villain. And, like, he's not a great character, but, like, he, he wasn't the main antagonist. Yep. All of the suffering I endured was because of Louis. Yes, indeed, it's true. But you know what? I forgive him. Because I've been hungry, too. Alright. We're done. We're done with Pikmin 2 forever. Oh my gosh! 
I still like this game, but I will never, ever be doing a deathless run of this again. This, this was not fun. Like, <laughs> well, no, that's not true. I still had fun doing this. There were parts of this that were not fun at all. <laughs> Also, I'm debating if I should split up the challenge mode videos, or if I should just upload all of the challenge mode in one stream VOD. I'll have to think about that. <laughs> Louie has caused trouble. Well, I am done today. I, I am streamed out. I don't have the, any energy left of me to continue streaming. Thank you all for joining in on this incredible journey. I This is... Nope. Not the hardest thing I've done on my channel. I thought this was going to be by far the hardest thing I've done on my channel. Nope. Hardest thing I've done on my channel is still Bear Storming. Like, if, if given the option of having to do this Deathless again, and having to do Bear Storming again, I'd probably want to do this again, actually. I'd have more fun. But, yeah. This is definitely top two challenges that I've done. Hardest challenges on this channel. Bear Storming, Pikmin 2 No Deaths, Donkey Kong 64, Zero Golden Bananas. <laughs> All of those were incredibly tough challenges, but I'm proud of all of them. What's next? So I'll be continuing Hollow Knight, streaming Hollow Knight this week. Next weekend, I will be doing a randomizer of some kind. I may, depending on my mood, I might stream Paper Mario uh, randomizer tomorrow. If I do, it will be at the usual 1 p.m. But otherwise, if I don't do that tomorrow, I'll be doing that on the weekend. On next weekend. So it's going to be fun! It's going to be great. I'm going to have a lot more fun with the, with the Paper Mario randomizer than I will with trying to do this deathless, because <laughs> I'm a lot better at that game, and that game's a lot better put together. That's not to say that I don't still love Pikmin 2. It's still probably my favorite in the Pikmin series, mainly because of the nostalgia, but, like, ugh. The level design was not the best at points. All right. That's it, everybody. I, I'm truly out of stuff to say. I need I need to recuperate from this. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, how about the Ocarina of Time Triforce Hunt Free Heart Challenge? I'm not doing that again. I did that on accident. I'm not turning that on again. Does Paper Mario Blade Run Mites are going to be longer or shorter than the game? Or, than, um, I think it's going to be shorter. Because I'm not going to be trying to get everything in it. I'm just going to be trying to beat it. So that's, that's how it's going to be. All right, everybody, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and God bless. Say hi to all the Pikmin for me.